point of my soda, bro. It's delicious too. 23 flavors. They work well. They ain't really no 23, man. No, no. no. 23, 23 flavors of sugar. When's the last time you had a soda, Tom? The ginger ale. Thank, Thank you, Lowe's. Shit. I don't really feel like it counts. All but right. back to you, man. Send me one of them bottles. Yeah, nothing for you. Hey, man. The you didn't like it anymore? I have attachment huh? issues. I used to like uh, you say you have right? attachment issues. He's thinking that Sprite. You can't even drive all of them. I know you, cream you cream probably only got two favorites. I love cream soda. I'm just trying to spend on one. What you trying to I'm plugged in. I can get you one. It just can't be one of mine. People be trying to get your cars all the time? Yes. <laughs> They don't understand. I have an obsession, man. Bro, when I, you, I you know, by the time it's done, you already put the work into it. Listen, it ain't just part, like that's part of the fun of it, though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and I they want to buy it yesterday. That part. You bought a car yesterday? What'd you buy? A convertible 1968 Camaro SS. Let me cue this up, man. <laughs> Camaro? Uh, yeah. 19 what? 60 what? 68. Oh, you don't have to Google it. You don't have to make up. <laughs> I'll show you. I'll show, show me the. <laughs> show me the whip. And that's another good thing. Like, you buy them from, like, especially out west, you ain't got to worry about the rust. It's pretty much mm. good to go. That's the one. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Where you get it from? From this black dude. Out here? <laughs> he always got the nice cars. Oh, that's always already buy. clean. Yeah. <laughs> Right up to his alley. That's right up his alley. This is when they had like that Mustang body in the Mustang at the same type body. Uh, kinda. You got the back of it? Yeah, I got some more. That's just nah. the, my favorite one. Favorite picture. What color is the interior? White? Yeah. It won't be for long though. <laughs> no holes in the uh, top? No holes in it. Gas hole. There you go. No rust either? No Awful rust. Good? No nothing. All right, nigga, it's a good box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well taken care of type of shit. We're not out here buying I had nothing. That was trash. Right, right. <laughs> ain't got to worry about smog down here, so I ain't got nothing. Nah. <laughs> Small. It's, I, we, don't, we don't do small. Though. I know. Y'all lucky as fuck. This the South. You know what small is? What? It's a small hog. All right. <laughs> 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 the type of shit we own now. Uh, I seen you found the fat booty TVs, man. Oh, those big booty TVs in the alley out here. That's up. Even the TVs got big booties. <laughs> man. Everybody famous in Atlanta, bro. The bartender got a million followers. That's true. Man. And a You don't really movie. see that many people like that, though. Where? In LA. I feel like you gotta go out. Oh, yeah. If you go to Inglewood, you'll see it. Or you go to like clubs and shit like that. But you don't see like, you see a chick with a big booty in LA, more than likely she's like a she bought chick. It. Oh, she bought it. Yeah. Depending on what part of town you see her and meet her in. Yeah. I seen a few fat booties in LA. There's a couple of them. Uh, a couple, a couple local of local asses in LA. Yeah, a couple of local. <laughs> hey there. A couple of local. Chuck uh, local fatties. <laughs> local fatties. Yeah. I like it though. You know. Not like out here, man. I don't know. I, I don't. It's, I don't know. I couldn't be out here. Yeah, nah, man, it's crazy. Yeah, I support all the Cause God out put here some of the fattest and, and, asses on these women down here. It's just ridiculous. Listen, some your of first time asses. coming to Atlanta, like if you if you're a black man, you, you, you love black women, you come to Atlanta, the first time you gonna get whiplash. The whole time you're like, God, God damn! When I first moved down here in Atlanta, man, I was I, I couldn't believe it. I thought, and I was from St. Louis, and this women with big booties, is right? Hell yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Man, shit. I was like, I, I can't move down here. Because before, when I moved down here the first time in 2009, no, I'm sorry, it was like 2007, it was nothing but the club, the shade joint, and the mall to go to. They didn't have a whole lot of. Shit. Oh, this is when you had your room in a goddamn, uh, at the bottom of that, that Italian restaurant. <laughs> oh, yeah, shit. Nigga. Yeah, because oh, I came and did yeah. that room. I was like, this motherfucker looks sketchy, but. The food smell like a slap in this bitch. Damn, what was the name of that spot? I don't know. But it was like in a in a residential neighborhood. Yeah. Kind of tucked off. God damn, what what's the name of that spot? 
I done had so many spots, bro. You came that minute, 30 minutes after it started, somebody else started hosting. You came in and took over and finished hosting it. Yeah, sometimes you gotta do that. <laughs> nah. <laughs> sometimes you gotta have an opener, open up. I feel it. You hear if I do that? Only if you're headed down. I'm That's like what this. she said. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be a great episode. Oh, man, we have a good time. Man. I can feel it. We in the track. We, we in got the this track. great auto music playing. We in the track. And you had some of my my favorite rappers on the show too. Who? Who's yeah. your favorite rapper? You had Fiend on the show. You had Currency on the show. Yes, sir. Currency did uh my game show, the Word in This Hard show. I was like, yeah, nigga. And then I saw him on your show. He was in person because he had to do mine like via Zoom because it's oh, a, yeah. the thick of, of COVID. Then he was really on your show. I was like. Currency, yeah. <laughs> that nigga did a whole fucking concert too. I was like, I don't get jealous much, but this nigga had You like, oh, now you rapping. Oh, now you got my favorite rapping. Oh, y'all chilling. Y'all, 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 Right. <laughs> they can connect it on the car. They can connect it on the cars and the weed. So I can do the cars. I got I got car talk all day, but I can't connect on the weed. He drove his fucking Rose Rush truck all the way up here. As soon as he got out, was like, let me see the Impala. I was like, nigga, let me see Yo, this. Let me <laughs> see this. <laughs> yes. This is the star of the show. Now I got to get, I, gotta, I, I told him when I interviewed him at uh, Rolling Loud, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to get it to you, but I'm going to buy you a car. I said, all the music you gave away for free. Buy him a car? You gonna buy, buy him a car? I'm gonna buy my old school. So he love giving gifts. That's, that's I need give good gifts, gift. bro. Yes, it, He's bro. a gift magician. That is a yeah. serious. But here's the thing, like, with, with, with old schools, you can buy, like, like I, I've seen his fleet. I don't think he has a Malibu. And he, he has a Monte Carlo already, but he doesn't have a Nova. So if I find, like, a 70-something Malibu or 70-something Nova, all I gotta do is just ship it to him. Because when you a real, Car enthusiast, the, the the joy is actually the journey of the build. So, so you send him the work. He do the work. Yeah, I just send him the base. I just send him the body. Yeah, don't okay. don't man. No. <laughs> That's like sending a bill. Like here go electricity. It's you say you just pay for it. It's, di it's different when it's a car, man. It's different because it, it I don't know what he wants in that car. Like mm. every car is different. Every yeah. car he has to fill it out to get like what the interior should be on this, and what the mm. wheels should be on. He might want to find it. So, so, that that so when you see yours, do you? You see the vision of what it's gonna be. Yeah, be like, I'm gonna turn into Vin Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> Go get the Dominic Toretto. Put the white wife beat on. It's not about Family. how you paint your car. <laughs> Family is how you drive it with the windows out. I live yeah. my life a quarter <laughs> mile at a time. <laughs> he really said that. Yeah. He, he was dead serious. He was dead serious. Was dead yeah. serious. I live my life a quarter then mile. Then they just stopped at racing. Time. They was like, man, let's steal Bro, stuff. They, they, they start out. stealing <laughs> and start running, working going for the government. Ride, and jumping out of bed. Yeah. Not even going out of space. Then Saving the world. reminds me of like LL Cool J when Jamie Foxx LL Cool J, he said LL Cool J really thought he was a football player? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like he's like, diesel. Line. He really can't. You see, I say. He yeah. comes to set with a toolbox, hands are already dirty. Quarter <laughs> mile at a time. Quarter mile at a time. This, this is a real mile at a time. Real mile mile at a time. They should have kept it the way they had it, where they was like, it's only so much you can race, my And building they had shit. To, they had to, they had to. They had to Fast Five was my favorite one. Oh, yeah? What was that one? That was when The Rock first came. Oh, yeah. That was, that was the best one to me. Hey, the rock got big, I feel like bro. he kept interrupting the movie trying to arrest everybody. Though. He was busting it up. He was like, all right, man, party's yeah, over. Big ass girl too. Yo, she was just getting yeah. good. I'll take your candy ass to jail. <laughs> he had a lot of things in that one. Oh, he did, man. He was he, bringing it. That's they they should have kept the same formula. Like Fast and the Furious One was dope. Cause yeah. they like they built the car and shit, and they had a little story. Yeah. And then Fast and the Furious Two should have been that Asian dude. <laughs> they should have found out more about that Asian dude. Which yeah. one? Huh? That Asian dude. Huh? Huh? Toretto. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's what that's what Two should have been. Yeah. Which one was the one where they did Tokyo Drift? That was that's the third one. That's that shit. They should have kept that one. Boy. Well, they Bow Wow didn't even get to really yeah, drive. Yeah, they had no. Once I saw Bow Wow was in there, I was like, they really just left the story. Because Ben, ben left for two. He wasn't even there for two. That's true. He it was, was it? it was Paul Walker and Tyrese for the second. Yeah. Oh, is that what he said? Forget about it, cuz. That was pretty dope, cuz they, yeah, that was dope. <laughs> yeah. I said, forget about it, cuz. My favorite right. line in one is Ja Rule. Monica! Oh, I hated that. <laughs> I hated I that. That was the one part that fucked me up, because he lost. Yes. And he tried to come back and get at the Spanish chick, and she was like, nigga, you didn't 
fucking weed <laughs> and nobody said nothing. Nobody's telling me, listen. <laughs> bro, they say niggas so hard in LA, like the Mexican community. I didn't know, I'm from the Midwest. So in St. Louis, the only people say nigga are black people. So when anybody else say it, you checking them immediately. When I walked out there to LA, and this dude was like, what's up, my nigga? And he was Mexican, but he had like four homies with him. I had like two with me, I was like, what we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> That's how we was in Washington. Say something, we let this ride. In Washington, it was Samoans. And oh, they yeah. was like, they had, the, you know, the rock arm yeah. and stuff. They, oh, they can like, say what they want. I was like, well, hey, man, you know what? Cultural property, you know, hey, man, what are you saying? Like, this hey, how you know, I saw a video of a Samoan dude. He grabbed the motherfucker by the top of his head and, like, threw him. I was like, I never. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Those motherfuckers story, are happy. Like, nigga, 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 nigga. <laughs> True story. My house in Washington, there was it was two o'clock in the morning. There was some somebody, we heard like fighting sounds. My wife was like, go check that out. And I'm like, uh, uh, man, that's, uh, that's like, the worst part about having right. a wife. You oh, put on, man, go check it out. Scared. I don't want to have to check out every sound. Go check it out. Yes, and then they don't come with you. No! Nah. Go check that out. Yeah. She turned over, pulled the covers up to her yeah. shoulder. I'm like, we're the same height. Me and my wife the same height. Her hands are actually bigger than mine. Did Y'all are not the same man? height. Huh? She Y'all are not the same height. She taller. She taller. She taller than you. Shoot. Sure. All right, first of all, y'all ain't got to do that. I'm just saying. Parents, parents going to go to the door before you. She be like, all right, stay in the bed, baby. Go check this out. But that would make you feel like such a bitch if your lady was that type of lady. Hey, lay down. I got this. <laughs> oh, that would be nice. I'd be like, damn. <laughs> Yeah. Right, absolutely. Keep me posted. I, I, I don't know. Keep me posted. Keep me posted, baby I, I, girl. I, I, that's definitely the type of time what my wife came me? back with a story? What wow. was it? Fucking bear. Yeah. 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 What, what you doing? That bear was in the den. <laughs> I wrestled him up out of here. You, you pulled the Leonardo DiCaprio? <laughs> yeah, but he was Leonardo. <laughs> <laughs> and what's out his blood on you? <laughs> Fucking coyote. Oh, my God. You should see the coyote. No, you should see the other guy. Hell yeah. Yeah, I got to the window and it was some mowing blood jumping somebody in and the sound they was throwing them on my car. She was like, what is it? I was like, man, some Samoans jumping this blood in. She was like, go stop them. I was like, girl, I said Samoans <laughs> are jumping somebody's blood. Girl, what's that? Like, so like, on your like, car. Oh my, it was a 96 Civic. I was like, girl, don't like about that car. I am going to die over a Civic. But you said two very terrifying things and they scared me. Neither one of them scared me. Like, it was Samoan blood. Bruh, yeah. These ain't doctors or dentists. Yeah. These are the fighting Samoans. Yeah. And a jump in. He's been looking forward to this moment. He's been, been waiting, waiting to get jumped in. You imagine somebody get prepared for a jump in? I was like, I'm going to take that first one. It's like, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to take I'm that first interrupt yeah. this community. You community. What if that's engagement. the moment he's been waiting on? That's right. Like, he's been waiting for this moment. He's like, bro, they going to pull up on me. Leave I got a hard heart. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wear glasses, bro. I'm supposed to go out there with glasses. Well, he's going to be pumped up. I got to show extra hard by socking him out. <laughs> right. When the community man come out, I'm a sock. You know, yeah, they gotta I'm prove you a real gangster. So after it. they get through whooping you, they're like, hey, so what other half of this? Right. Yeah. And my hand or what? Right. Y'all still owe me 15 right. seconds. Right! Now you got beat up in my front yard. Right. And I still gotta go to work because it was like Tuesday. Still had to go to work. Yeah, right. Bust it up. What Tuck happened last night? But man, they were dead ass wrong. They had no business jumping that man that loud. At 2 a.m. 2 a.m. They could have did that shit no car. earlier. They could have did it on the lawn. Anywhere. He slid down your windshield. Though. Bro, he was, t- dense was all through the Well, these neighbors are just, they, they just, they when they just the walking through the neighborhood, it was like, here. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I don't understand. Why'd y'all, why'd y'all pick right here? They like manicure yards when they do it. Like well, Yard was nice. Yeah, so they, like, oh, that's they, they drive around nice and shoot the neighborhood. They're like, this is the spot. This is where yeah. yeah. That was a tough thing to wake up to. I told you. Yeah. Right back. <laughs> He is that Civic in 96? Yeah, Purpose Beat. Right there. Purpose Beat. Purpose Beat. They could have been employed just to get you to come out so he had to do something to you too. That would have been. That would have been part of it for sure. Yeah. Oh, man. They know how to beat the homeowner up. Oh, yeah. I'm like, man. That shit would have fucked the whole gangster moment up, though. Oh. You would have just like found a spot, like opened the window, like, hey! <laughs> people have to work in the morning! <laughs> well, we got your work right here. <laughs> Putting in work. You know, they always pause it on gangland. Putting in work. <laughs> now, but you know, it's in the neighborhood and it's dark. You can find like an upstairs window or one of them little sneak spots they wouldn't find. You know how your house is set yeah. up. Right? Yeah. You got that spot where you can talk shit to people outside yeah, and it's they dark. Don't and find they don't, out where you they don't know where you at exactly. I mean, I do. I, I, that's where I bought my house. Yeah. <laughs> Sound like you across the street. The window? There's a small bathroom window that would never suspect. <laughs> that's not a lift up. That's a slider. You're like, hey! 
<laughs> Shut up! You slam on my dick. <laughs> You're talking big shit through the kitchen, Vic. Go take that bullshit somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Do it in that little hole with the dragon. Oh, oh man. man. Oh, that? Did you come out? Man. I, I see y'all niggas in the front out there. <laughs> y'all got the softest gang out here, man. <laughs> <laughs> y'all members is all paper on your day. <laughs> Boy, if I didn't have to work tomorrow. <laughs> y'all members is all paper? Oh, all paper, man. <laughs> you got honorary members out here. Oh. <laughs> they just in it for the tattoo. Man, where you at, man? Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Watch them go in the wrong house, beat them up. <laughs> Never like that lady. That'll <laughs> save a lot of lives, though. <laughs> that would, if motherfuckers Glass actually could be in games man. on paper. Where you from, cuz? Hold up, man. <laughs> Clearly <laughs> states right here. Oh, all right, okay. Oh, that's like all. Like the backseat okay. car, so what? All the big homies, yeah. all the big homies signed on. Signatures. <laughs> this man signatures on there. You gotta get five signatures. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Red Devil signed that? That's a Red Devil signature yeah, right there. Yeah, I recognize oh. that one. Nigga, that would be so stupid, like a library card. You got to turn it over with six signatures. <laughs> Oh, like nigga, one. But you know niggas thing. don't have fake ones like, oh, hold, yeah. up, hold up, hold up, blood, the address is wrong. <laughs> and don't even stay Ain't right no there, way he uh, live on that street. Right there, Ain't no more. Nah. No. <laughs> Look at his address, man. Yeah, what's up, man? That's when they start crumbling in your face. Grab me, dude. And they used to see in paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't even. <laughs> I didn't even say it's cardstock. Nah, man. What's nah. all about cardstock? Nah. <laughs> they don't even print that shit on print. <laughs> Where you get this shit from, man? No, I got it from the, uh... That's when they run out of lines. I got it from the... <laughs> You know they what? grabbed me, though. <laughs> from, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so right. They gave it to me. They, came, they flew in for the night. They don't fly in. That first grab, you know it's over. It was, you, they, they came in 40 some months. <laughs> Why is that always the first move? <laughs> the shirt <Amen>. grab. <laughs> I'm just sitting there and take it. I ain't gonna even embarrass myself if I try to run, nigga. Can you imagine trying to run and get away from somebody faster than you just catch it? You, you definitely. I'm out, man. I got my mama's thighs. Nigga, I know I ain't gonna go What if you break the run and you fall right there? Oh, nigga, uh, what if you don't get no What if you fall over the finish? <laughs> that right there? This right here, the legs get caught up. You People already face that. They just gotta grab you up. Get <laughs> your. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> come on. <laughs> what are you to bust your shit on the phone? Do one time. This nigga already done it up. Like, you used to fall off the bike. This nigga be trying to pick where they gonna hit you. He got already bleeding right there. That's the best time to get jumped in, though. Niggas don't want to get your blood on them, so. Yeah. But if I was in the game, if I saw the blood, I'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Start stomping you out. He's my old house. You get in the gang and y'all just sitting back chilling and out of nowhere and they be like, bro, you been tested, bro? Yeah. That's a hard hitting question. Hepatitis? Yeah. I'll be asking, hey, you got hepatitis? <laughs> nah, I ain't socking him out of this one, man. Y'all go ahead. Yeah, yeah we're going to have to pull the bats out on you, man. Yo, what's going on, y'all, man? It's your boy DC Young Fly, you dig? This is me. I'm eating pizza right now. You hear me? You've seen us talking about going back on the road on social media. But it's finally here. Bro, it's time? It's finally here. Yeah. Told y'all. We about to go back on the road. Tell them where we're going, DC. Man, we're going to Bliss. You hear me? Mississippi. Yeah, we're going to your, yeah. Charleston. Maybe more, but... That's all we telling y'all for right now. What's the date? Me? What's the date, man? I think less than July 24th. You hear me? Seattle on October the 1st. <laughs> Sacramento on October the 2nd. Okay. I mean, nigga, you know what? It's a nigga we got from the day. I'm just so happy to be back. So we're going to Biloxi, Seattle, Wells. Charleston. Okay. We may do that on the Friday. Mm-hmm. We may do that on the Friday. <laughs> The microphone came off again. Listen, we just gonna do it like this. That's why we gotta get back on the road, bro. Mm -hmm. The microphone won't stick. We can't even we can't even buy tape. That's why we still in the trap and we can't buy tape. But you always tan up the microphone. You think Domino's gonna sponsor this? They should. Let's call Cause it. we fuck with their piece. Mm-hmm. You dig what I'm saying? I used now, to work at Domino's, bro. You bullshit. For real. What happened? I grew up. Mm. <laughs> Shout out to Domino that's, you know what I'm saying, giving black boys, you know what I'm saying, the job. Yeah, somewhere you can prosper. 
Real talk. You know where to find all them dates while we eating Domino? At the on the website. Plus, new shows go to 85 stop shoot at that go. Yeah. I feel like if you go to the Instagram or click the link or something, it'll probably take you where the tickets at. I think so too, cause people always be like, how we find a ticket? We just told your ass. Just Google 85 South Show tickets. Just listen. Ain't nobody out there selling no fake ass tickets. Somebody was at one point. I seen them. They had, they had my eye fucked up on the fly. <laughs> I'm like, you really bought that motherfucker? Like, nigga bought flow seats too. I'm like, nigga, whoever this is, <laughs> he probably gonna show up, but it ain't me, I tell you that. You saw the dude selling the fake shirts of the, the real life tour shirt. New place, new face bought one. Nigga, nigga rolled down. They the got my name over country Wayne. <laughs> Didn't even get y'all room. That fucked up. Nigga really be out there selling shirt. Nigga be, you know, they having the shirt while they flagging you down. We selling them. I rolled down the window. And where that money going to? Cause I'm on it. He like, man, buy the shirt, man. Stop bullshit. They they tried to convince me that it wasn't me on the shirt. <laughs> no. That ain't you, man. <laughs> you ain't even look like you. Still about it. I ain't buy the shirt. You ain't buy it. I hit the nigga out. I paid the dub for it. I talked him down. He wanted 40. Hey man. I said, nigga, I'm finna give you a dub for this fake ass shirt. Get the fuck out my face, man. I at least want to have the shirt to put up in my house. You know what I mean? I ain't get no money for it. I might well go on here. Man, go, man, go. Man. We got shirt. So we got shirt. Tell them about the tour, man. Man, you know what's going on, man. The tour going crazy, man. Should I say it again? Yeah. We're going to be in Biloxi, Sacramento, Charleston, Seattle, and a little bit more. If you want to know, go to the 85 South Show .com, Negro. Okay, bet. Hey, man, we back. We coming to all them cities he just named. You did. And some more cities. Come on. And, and we came to see the 85 percenters. You hear me? We gonna have titties in the building. Titties. And Listen, then, I'm talking about this time. Put them, pull them out. We done been through a pandemic. Pull the titties out. What they gonna say? They gonna, they gonna be like, ooh, we been missing them titties. Now, one thing we can ensure, we can create a safe environment we where can. you pull them titties out. Yes, we can. Yes, and we, we can. have proven that. Right. You hear me? We have right. uh, grandmas smoking weed that's on oxygen tanks. And they having their business. <laughs> Nigga can't say I showed on his spot. I talked to that lady family. She doing uh, well right now. She, she doing, doing good. good. Salute, man. Salute, auntie. Yeah, man. So come check us out. Make some more of this piece. I ain't even gonna lie. And to be honest, to be honest, so we good. miss y'all motherfuckers, I miss y'all too, man. Are you crying? Oh, that was a great walk out. That was a great walk out. We gotta right. do it again. <laughs> And to be honest, man, <laughs> to be honest, nigga, we miss y'all motherfuckers. One more. One more, bro. One more? Okay. <laughs> Nick, and to be honest, nigga, Potter, to be honest, <laughs> we miss y'all motherfuckers. Hey, man, we out of here. For real. I wonder if gang membership declined with COVID. <laughs> probably so. <laughs> they probably no, because they've been wearing masks the whole time. That's yeah, true. That is true. That is true. That is they true. was like, we've been on bit. Yeah. They just pulled out the sanitizer before the side <laughs> cut them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I really want to see yes. like what the inside of a gang meet looks like. Like if somebody's no, you don't. really in there taking it's, it's, minutes. It's very low budget. <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing like you think. They don't have a sergeant on orders to keep orders? Like, ah, ah, ah you little locs called down. <laughs> you little locs? Uh-uh, nah, you can't call nobody that. This <laughs> <laughs> man said a sergeant at arms. Yeah, you know they got gang? one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to keep going. Like, yeah, 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 treasurer, sergeant, um, uh -huh. secretary. See, these are all niggas who are too injured to go back to the streets. <laughs> like the nigga who keeps the peace at the meeting, he roll up. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey, y'all chill, y'all hey, chill. Man, let's keep the cool, man. <laughs> keep roll always up. go to the gun. His arm is cut up from all the rolls. He's like, hey, man, y'all got to chill. Oh, OG. OG. Don't tell me about it. Don't tell me. <laughs>
Y'all think y'all got it all figured out? <laughs> he turned in. He turned in. He hit the brake real hard on it. Think you got it all figured out, man. What you know about sacrifice? <laughs> y'all don't know nothing about sacrifice. Yeah, but you you the winner last summer? Yeah, but that was last summer. <laughs> I paid the price in the winter. Now listen up. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. That pull up and stop is hilarious. Oh, man, the twist? <laughs> you think you got it all figured out, huh? You think you know the game? Let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> That's I've what, been out here. He slammed the folder hard and put the, the, the meeting notes up. Since <laughs> <laughs> y'all knew every fucking thing. <laughs> He can't get the door open, no. Open the door. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Oh, my God. That was the intro? Yeah, that was, that's how we do it. I love intros like right. that. That's how we do it, man. We just, <laughs> it's a very black show. <laughs> this was voted the number one black show for black people between the ages of 13 and 77. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 13 and 77? That's a wide age gap. That's, a, that's yeah. everybody. That's everybody. Old right? people tuning in, man. And I didn't make that up. That's based off internet research. Mm -hmm. oh, that's dope. That's your It's like the Tonight Show for black people. Yeah. Our youngest fan, four days old. <laughs> Fresh in the game. Fresh out? I relate to this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been alive for 85 hours. This is my <laughs> show. This? When they talked about that placenta, <laughs> clapping with them baby hands. He can't even keep his head up. He's watching the show like this the whole time. Head still heavy. Hold my head up. Hold my head up. <laughs> Y'all got jokes, but I got video proof. Oh, uh, you old fan? Yeah, the baby was like. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you make a baby laugh, like that. Was that was a laugh? I was like, I was pretty sure that's a shit. I paid that That's a developing before. laugh. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. yeah. I made that time before. Shit. Teachers up. Teachers up. According to the pediatrician. Uh, oh, you talking to the pediatrician, too? I know one. Okay. <laughs> Peter Trisha, like, man, that's 85 South Yeah, man. We can have a lot of these babies. I was like, was that a cry for help? He was like, that's a developing laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom used to put the stomach up to the laptop. Right, yeah, and the mm -hmm. baby was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga lies as good as I do, man. Oh, yeah. Straight face. Nigga, if you don't even flinch. Keep doing it, bro. What? When you get to the point where babies is gone, <laughs> you'll know. I'm inspired. I'm inspired to do this story. That's why I'm here, man. Keep doing what you're doing, young man. <laughs> Man. You niggas think you know how to make babies laugh? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know shit about that. Oh, Turn it. Oh, shit. Where's the rent? Look, man, if you can't look around <laughs> and see who we got in the trap with us today, man, we got none other than to hear more. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Kev on stage. Yay. My man. Tony Baker. Yeah. Hey man, I don't know if y'all was on Twitter the other day, but there was a whole fucking argument. Niggas was arguing about Kev, and they was like, the nigga named Kevon. Oh, no. <laughs> they was like, no, nigga, it's Kevon. I was like, nigga, it's Kev on. <laughs> you know there's people out there who think your name is Kevon Stage? Yes. Yes. Kevon. 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 My last name is Stage. Yes. <laughs> Stages you met in your life. <laughs> I'm, I'm just like, hey, my name is Randall Stage. You know what I'm saying? Randall, Randall my wife Stage. Parker Stage is my son Terry. From a long line of stages. You think they fucked your name up? Nobody's name. Bruh, my uncle followed this nigga on Twitter, and he always like, boy, you you follow Tony the Baker? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, with them goddamn animals. <laughs> that nigga funny. That's who you got to get in with. They got them talking to me. That's who you got to get in with, son. Hey. Oh, hey. oh, oh, Tony oh, Baker. Tony Baker. That's your name. Tony Boulon. Tony the Baker. You got to add the dog down. Yeah. Hey, Tony the Baker here, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. This is a, hey. Hey. Always got to have guys to get in with. That's you need to hook up with. Hey. Well, Old people always think they got the answers, you? man. My mom, when I first moved to Hollywood, she told me, she was like, won't you just call him and tell him that you want to be an actor? Call who? I said, I said, call who? She said, Hollywood. 
I said, you think it's www.hospital.org? <laughs> they got a building. <laughs> call them and tell them? She, she lived with Emma J. Oh. McCall and said, call them and tell them you want to be I wish it was that easy. Oh. I wish hey, it was man, that easy. I seen the movie y'all working on. Let me get in on that. <laughs> I remember yeah. when I first moved out there, I did call... Uh, the Wayne brothers, I called there like they had an office. You called I, the other brother. Yeah, I, I called the office that, that I Googled and uh, I was like, hey, uh, my name's here. I was wondering if you guys had any internships or anything like that. They was like, nigga, for what? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you faded out. Any, anything? Well, no, you, you, we, we flew in for the night. <laughs> <laughs> up from the phone. He was on the other line talking shit. You know how many cousins we <laughs> <some> new- <laughs> <laughs> We don't have outside people. <laughs> yeah, what's your last name, boy? Fuck off my phone. Wayne's on the milk. But the fucked up part is you was probably talking to a Wayne. No, this is Greg Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is you? <laughs> Second cousin, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Bob <Bobby> Beard. <laughs> that was tough, man. You, you really called them. You tried. I tried, man. I tried mm-hmm. to call. Ho- I called Black Hollywood. Like, I didn't want to do that, though, like Black Panther 2. Who answered the you phone when you called Bro, Black I don't know Hollywood. who was. They didn't give me their name. And when, when Probably I asked Uncle me, Levi from the belly room. Hello? What's up, y'all? Levi. Levi. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> He was always sharp, too. Always sharp. And that perm popped up. He had that bump on the perm. The curl was fresh. One gold chain. Hey, what's up, young brother? All right. Every All right. week that curl 1,300 was years old. Nick. <laughs> He's oh, a yeah. close handshaker, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was weird. He was like, what's, what's up, young brother? And All that right. nigga. You all right? Nigga, you all right? You all right? like the Apollo <laughs> wood. <laughs> oh, nigga, you, you got a whole lot of oil on your head after he oh, gets Your whole shoulder was oh, all Oh, because he did this a lot. He did this. Yeah, that pencil. 10W30? Like, yeah. Yeah. Levi. Man, what y'all doing in Atlanta? Man, we uh we shoot a food show for, for the Kevin State Studios app. It's like diners, drivers, and dives, but instead of chefs, comedians, you know, you're on the road, you're looking for something to eat. Mm-hmm. You're like, hey, man, we, we in Atlanta, what's good to eat around here? People, oh, man, you got to go to, you know, Barney's or Life Kitchen or whatever. Bro, you know what you should have did on that episode? You should have just kept going to Waffle House. We went. <laughs> You we should just keep going. Every, every episode? Now, this, uh, this, this location of Waffle House happens to be my favorite, because I actually have to sit down there. OK, with a sink that works. That's funny. I would have just went to the Waffle House five different times. That would have been hysterical. We would have been sick. Now, this Waffle House don't actually let you in. Yeah. It's a whole new experience. That's we outside. We went to. Yeah. Had a homeless man that was on me. Oh, oh man. man. He, he told Tone, he said, man, can you bring me out some bread? And Tone's like, y'all need to order. He's like, no, no. Bread, I mean, you, you money, brother. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I thought he wanted to break bread. Like, let's eat together. He's like, no, I don't really want to eat with you. Boy, no, give me the money. I'm like, oh, oh, yeah. This niggas is something else. Let me give me oh. something to eat. <laughs> man, come on. I ain't hungry right now. Oh, come on, man. Give me the money. I, I get what I want. Nah, Put man. On. Let me take you to get that order. No, man, just give it here. You, you don't need to worry about the homeless nigga some food. Like, no, you can just have this sandwich. I don't want no goddamn sandwich. Let <laughs> <laughs> me every time you actually give him the food. Man, never mind. I don't want that shit. What you got up in there? You ain't got to help him? Never mind. You got a fake horse deal over there, man. Look at him. I got the cheap ass uncle there. I swear this is a true story. We went to the Braves game. This nigga had made two egg sandwiches and took and snuck them in the game. But he didn't eat him, and the homeless dude was outside the stadium, like, man, give me something to eat. And he gave him the fucking egg sandwiches. And he was like, that felt good. I was like, and he, the homeless dude heard me, I'm like, man, that man ain't want them goddamn sandwiches. <laughs> and the nigga turned around and was like, actually, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, that sounds like when Kev put sausage in his pocket. Come on, what man. What? Why are you putting that up? That don't even sound like that. That don't have nothing to do with what we were talking about. First of all, I was like eight years old. We was talking about homeless people in the brain. Well, you put sausage that was the homeless man. move that what you did. Mean? What type of shit is this, man? Oh, man. Yeah, I didn't tell him, nigga. Well, so we go to the I'm going to tell you, now that you hear them brought it up. Why the fuck you did know you do that? We know black people, we get the, 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 the oval sausage. Don't blame this on black people. No, nah, I'm just saying the sausage. The oval sausage. Well, wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is going like downhill. <laughs> you can't blame this on the whole. We all people. been there. You know it's black. <laughs> no. Put sausage in our pockets. Nah. <laughs> we, we, we all. <laughs> 
What <laughs> nigga ain't never stole sausage, bro. The, 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 the polo sauce. So my mom cooked it. We going to church. I'm dressed in church stuff. The church van come early, and I got a piece of sausage in each hand. She's like, the van's here. Don't cook, cook. But just, no, no bread. No one. But just, like, hot sausage. Uh. With the grease on it and everything. She's like, come on now. The church van here. I'm like, why? I ain't finished breakfast. Get in the van. So I got slacks on. <laughs> I come to get in the van. I'm like six, seven, eight, and I can't get in without grabbing the thing. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> so I'm looking at the van. Church dude Deacon in the front seat. <laughs> I'm like, let me just put one. Hey man. He goes. You just put a sausage in your pocket. <laughs> I'm like, well I I couldn't get couldn't get up. <laughs> Every opportunity, I'm gonna try to bring that story out. <laughs> Why the fuck did you just put the one in? You stare at this, or did you double up? So I look in, right? I try to get up with the one in the left hand. So I'm like, it's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put one of these so put the sauce down. <laughs> <laughs> I bite, both of them just biting it like I. So, I've been thinking about that. I'm not gonna rush this experience. I'm gonna just like throw the so whole much thing. more happened before you got to the bus. Like you went upstairs and got your coat. <laughs> <laughs> he opened the door like it was no problem up until getting in the van. So uh, I needed to help up, man. Everything else you can get the elbow wing. You know what I'm saying? You can close the closet with your leg. But I need to get up on the van. Hey, Cam, you, man, if you got a sausage <laughs> grease in your... Was it the back pocket or the No, I put so it right in the church, church pants. Room. It was greasy. <laughs> then I'm in there, I take it out, I got lint all over it. Like, hey. <laughs> oh, he blew it off. Still ate it. Oh, oh, that's fucked up. Man, where were you in life? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, never, I never heard of no shit like this. Oh. Yo, he put the sauce. No. What color this was this? This is some slack? cartoon was ass it gray? shit. No, they were gaggy, probably. It was gray. <laughs> the light was, it was <laughs> like this. You're seeing every piece of this. <laughs> the pastor cut his sermon in there. And the Lord, what the hell is this? <laughs> Those grease stains on this young man? So you know he had sausage. <laughs> oh, sausage. Man, it was, all, every time, like, every time he sat down, it looked like It was just like a long, <laughs> fat grease stain on both sides. <laughs> I, didn't really, I wasn't really thinking forward. No, uh, like I was heard the moment thing. God, oh, that's certainly man. smelling like sauce. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have I never heard that story. Oh, uh, man, you, you could have went longer without it. To hear it, <laughs> hear it just bring it up random. I had to. do what we was talking about. I had to. like, yeah, Carlos, man, what, what's your favorite color? Like, Kevin had sauce in his pocket. He saved that for this. Yeah. He did. I was sitting on there for the past four days. I was like, what is Carlos? You're Carlos. <laughs> You're a car enthusiast. Right? He's scared to put sausage in his butt. <laughs> While he was about to get in a car, well, it was bad. Anyway, the sausage is the point. That was just his way of letting us know he's a notorious gangster oh, by the name man. of Sausage Pockets. Unnecessary, man. man. Who you work for? You ever heard of Sausage Pockets? <laughs> sausage Pockets? Oh, you don't know how you got that name? <laughs> He oh. killed a man? Oh, no. He was, he was hungry when he was eight. <laughs> Man, you, this, this food show was perfect for you, then, because oh, you know yeah. what the fuck goes on when it comes to it. It was great. And Atlanta really has good. a lot of great places Atlanta to eat. Atlanta has some good food. Where did y'all go? Y'all should have went to Old Lady Gang. That's Candy's that. restaurant. Old oh, Lady Gang? Candy from Escape. Candy from oh, yeah, yeah. Man, the macaroni. Yeah, the yeah, it's called Old Lady Gang. Shit fire. Candy got a lot of different businesses. Candy is amazing. Mm -hmm. We got that bedroom candy at the crib. I tell you that. I know you do. And he got candy in the bed too, not her. <laughs> Get good pieces of the field. You know what I'm saying? You want the know candy? Some chocolate chocolate peanut butter for? in the middle of the night, nigga. For real? Chocolate peanut butter. You gotta buy some problems. of that that bedroom. That bedroom. Women like that shit. You get the little cold shit that you put on a nipple, and then you blow it, and it get warm. Mm -hmm. The warm sensation oil. Yeah. They also have the, the you know the, the flavored lube. Comes in the bottle, a couple different sizes. This thing is a freak, man. Oh yeah, I mean, listen, you I, by yourself. I, I got, I got the cock ring with the vibrator on the end. Hey, hey, the hey, hey, the intensity hey. of the vibration, you connect one to your phone, what and it vibrates too. By yeah. yourself? No, what? Fuck. Yeah. No, Tony. He said he got it. <laughs> he tried to order this shit. Yeah, I put it on. <laughs> you knock on the door to here, we finna leave. Hey, hey, Bro, hold what on, the man. Fuck? I ain't gonna put it in my pocket. <laughs> Why are you activating it yourself, though? That takes away. <laughs> what do you mean? To hear you be talking business. What if she had to get up and get the towel? Oh, okay, cool. Go ahead. Toes start curling up. Hey, man, turn that off when you're talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. All the users want to see us in the room, man. There you go, man. Do your thing. Oh, man. We have a good time, man. I didn't know about that restaurant. Yeah, I like I was you. saying, that shit good. Right there, every day. <laughs> Old lady game. Macaroni and <laughs> cheese. Let me quick. Macaroni and cheese. <laughs> yeah, fuck, he on <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> y'all ain't bought y'all ain't never bought no sex toys. Yeah, no, man, why about sex toys? Not for me, man. Kevin, it ain't for me. It's for her. The vibrate on the end is to hit her clitoris. Oh, it's for her. Yeah, oh, it's so her pleasure. Oh, so Candy's restaurant, no man. They got they got these uh, sweet potatoes, man. <laughs> man. They got a his and hers. The marshmallows in them. Oh, shaped like a U. Would go inside of it. I didn't know she had it. Me neither. The sweet tea is good, too. Oh. but the lemonade is everything homemade. <laughs> Man, the nipple claps or something. Come on, man. She don't be point. cooking, but she she be in there. She be in there. The the cornbread. I'm telling you, black. The cornbread. You leave. Now, now when you do the nipple claps, though, you can't go too far back on the hey, stroke. Hey, you got to stay about hey, right here. Come on, man. Hey. If you go too far back, that clap gonna come off. Now, now the four day old baby checked out of the video. No, 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 no. How you think the baby got here? Baby out, man. That baby was here. That baby came out with the clap. That Did you ever hear that story about when Kev had them sausages? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Kev, what are you talking about? This nigga had, he had a choice to make. He had a life decision. You to get in the van? <laughs> I just want to know, like, what, what, what was your parents at, man? She was already in the van. She was in the van. She didn't even look at Kev. Because, 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 because like, I, I feel like, like as a black child, having two sausages will get you in trouble. Especially yeah. if you got siblings. He got one of them goddamn sausages in <laughs> That's all I'm hearing in my mind. You just greedy trying to eat up every goddamn thing. That's what it was. That's why she didn't have him with the door, because he ran out with the goddamn sausage because he didn't want to give us so a fuck. Back was you turned. know it was because he was being greedy, wasn't it? But I just can't see a black <laughs> family standing in the kitchen with the door open, waiting on the church bus, and these sausages are right here. How did this? That's why his mama was like, because mama was like, I know I cook more sausages. <laughs> okay. Wait, where was she at? This is you what we got to If the church bus wouldn't have pulled up, what were you planning to do with these two sausages? <laughs> Like, Wait, there what was, was no you paper towel, there was no plate. We, yeah, I, I want to know why you didn't have the paper towel. I was finna eat them. Uh, okay. Both of them at the same time. Just, I mean, I just, so you was thugging anyway. <laughs> he was double fisting at an early age. Like, what the fuck? We had two fists, two sausages, and two beers. He was chewing and drinking. Chewing and drinking. I didn't think this episode was gonna go this way. <laughs> I thought we and that's not talking. the sausage links. These are the big. That's the kill. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Cut in half. You yeah. Know, with the burn and stuff on it on both sides. Yeah. So it, it really was kind of like four sausages then. Yeah. If you split oh, was it down the middle? He split down the middle. Mm-hmm. That was hard to get yeah. in your pocket. That's the because I saw but it was like different. case sausages. No, if you that one went right in a pair of church pants. Right. When really you like got this, split, split. that means you had. As soon as you go in and hit the pocket and it open back up, so now it's like split right it there. This. It was that. But that uh, ain't four. If you don't separate the thing, it's still still two. Nah, that's four pieces. Nah, man, it's just opened up. In mm. the black household, that's four. <laughs> Kevin trying to jazz it up. He was like, nah, it's butterfly sausage. <laughs> <laughs> so where was your mom at when you came out to the van? I feel like she, she wasn't was close out there by. yet, so that's why I was trying to get in the van before she came out. Okay. And that's so why like she wasn't going to so see was that's that's why I, No, I'm trying to be greedy. I'm just like, once she tells you to get in the van, you can't not be in the van. So when you put the sausage okay, in your pocket. That's why I had to make the choice quick. And you sat like, down in the church van. That grease didn't burn your thighs. <laughs> it did. It definitely did. <laughs> <laughs> My thighs was hot. Grease was coming out. That's why I had to get one out quick. <laughs> when did you eat the sauce? Right to the second. <laughs> I want to see the dickhead's face when you open up the door. He saw you stuff. He watched the whole interaction. He could have reached over and tried to That's help. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he wanted to see what you was going to do. He wanted to see your you power sauce. Like, they would have got you road. told on by the church bus driver. <laughs> Karen, you know your son got two sauces back there? <laughs> <laughs> He called, he called, your son will be with two sausage patties. I ain't gonna be driving y'all to church. You got sausage patties in your pocket. It's I got really dogs. You really break it down. He being passive aggressive. There ain't no why. eating on the church bus. I don't know why I got him with this steering wheel. He ain't know the vehicle be. He got an old bus. He ain't here with the sausage, man. I ain't signed up for this. He be rassing here because of y'all. I got to clean the rats out every time I get in this bus in the morning because y'all got food in here. Sick of this job, right? Praise God, though. I didn't even know church vans was a thing for families. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't right know that. They used to be, up. The they yeah. used to be in church like, look, if you, don't, if you ain't got a car, the van will come pick you up. So we ain't had no car at the time. So we was, you know, we was just waiting for the What did Jesus pick y'all up? <laughs> Now, I ain't gonna ain't let you miss this, man. <laughs> Jesus would open the door for you. It would have. He was a black dick and he was like, man, get in. 
We <laughs> finna be late. Did you have to explain the stains to what your mom? What if you were in your sausage? She had to wash them <laughs> church pants. And the bus driver like, find me somebody who understands. <laughs> <laughs> what? You did the right thing. It was a guy at the last church that used to always have crackers in his pocket. Rick's <laughs> Raw crackers? crackers? Listen, I was like, oh, you got to have that whole pack of that. Because I was having a conversation, and I thought it was like the white stuff from talking too much. It was cracker residue, right? And I didn't know it until I had a conversation with Buddy. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. You really should think about joining the choir, man. There's a lot of men in the choir. Like, boom. Without like, that was a selling point. <laughs> right? <laughs> There's a lot of men in the choir. I was like, oh, that's crazy, right? Uh-huh. No, no, no package in there. Just raw crackers. Just raw. Rich rich crackers. crackers are good though. They are. Not, not, I'm not gonna eat it with lit. We can't. Yeah, just, we can't even talk about this because YouTube will flag the video. Oh, uh, you say name? Because you said rich crackers. They're gonna think you said rich crackers. No. <laughs> YouTube will hit that Bro, yellow I, on your I video on for Facebook anything. I Facebook one day and I said I like my crackers with cheese. Suspended for a week. Really? Really? You obviously talking about the, the food. You would think so. I mean, as a black man, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he really, man, he like his white man with cheese, with paper. You know what I'm saying? I never, like, Jeff, I never liked so. it. <laughs> Bro, this dude keep me entertained with oh, them fucking. Don't, 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 don't do man. shit else, man. Just do animals. <laughs> Tony, his name, Tony is a, a, uh, a angry him. old man. Oh, yeah. man, Tony. Tony is a villain of old anger and just frustration. He has every right to be angry, bro. But by what? His, his fucking car just died. His car? The, the old school. Here's the thing. What was it? The, the, what the was it? Lance? Lance? It does? Lance. No, I gave it to... Uh, Right. See, oh, yeah. it's not he should have been got rid of that car though. He bought that on himself. Tony, Tony could have been got Tony? rid of that car. Shut the hell up. Coney Island? Coney Island? Alright, so I fuck with words a lot. I don't want to know. <laughs> Those it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna it's gonna happen It don't go clean. It's going to happen with other It don't matter. Yeah, I, I know that, but they, they won't let me live. You so I'm just going to let you know what's going to happen. He, Tony catches me every time. I'm Tommy Lee Jones and the Fugitive, man. I'm going to catch you before. <laughs> I got the dead to rights. See your tongue jump down in that They room. owe you that shit, though. For no. leaving all them fucking flight tags nah, everywhere. come on, man. I found nah. two tags in my bag on this trip. <laughs> and you want to feel sorry for you? They keep picking on me. Yeah, man, you an asshole. Bro. Bad bro. time. You deserve all that Everything shit. that he got coming to him, he deserve it. Yeah. Till you do right, Barbie. Everything <laughs> that's it? You think that's all the tags you gonna find in that bag, my nigga? No. Why do you have so many? I bro. go to the airport and I just hang out. When people get their luggage to throw them away, I just grab them. I stay there for a couple hours. That's identity theft. Bro, no yeah. lie, though. In the middle of the pandemic, people wasn't even flying. He was putting, we had like shoots in, in May of last year. He put a he put a luggage tag in my windshield. I mean, the, the visor of the car. You know my wife driving me? the car, Lo. He pu- she pulled the visor down, hit her in the head. He attacked her. She really. could have had an accident. If you ask me. That's, that's actually battery. Yeah, it's really battery. I should We should have squared up on the strip. That let me know you got a surplus of them shit. <laughs> oh, man, I, got three trash bags. I got three trash bags full of these luggage eggs. That's not The thing is, nobody even did nothing to him. We was just on tour. Nobody was doing no pranks. He just started doing that. Yep. You nobody think I want this? <laughs> it just happened. <laughs> How he this. say that like that? He wants this. He chose this life. <laughs> I'm a villain, man. I'm a villain. I like I like chaos a little bit. It gets too stagnant, so you gotta switch it up and like I would I would put a he Kev always takes his shoes off. Wherever if we stay long enough, one of those shoes coming off, right? This and, man keeps sausage in his pocket, <laughs> man. <laughs> Ain't no limit to the type of shit he'll do. As soon as he take that shoe off, I slide one in that shoe too. I right, but if you think about it, then you you just really becoming that that black father. <laughs> You doing shit like that. You, fuck it, leave me in here. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you just at that age of, yeah. you don't give a fuck no more. That's true, man. Yeah, I went to sleep in the car. We was waiting for, for Tony and Johnson to grab some, some smoothies. He was smooth out. Man, listen. I don't understand that for a while, now. Though. Yeah, they, they Nobody ever while. speaks on that. Like, we're black men. Bro, we get old. You get you get certain privileges with getting older. Like, if after you, well, I feel like once you get to be like 39, you just fart wherever the fuck you oh, go yeah. to. Uh, you should have to explain it. Mm, Who gonna say some, hey man, that's nasty. Well, I I just had a fucking biopsy. 
<laughs> I'm on some new medication to keep me from going fucking crazy. <laughs> I take something from fucking migraines that's got me gassy. I can't. What type of fucking place is this? We got no revival on that. We, uh, we, we didn't know. That? We didn't know. <laughs> But it still stinks. Yeah. We didn't know. Your eyes watering. We never knew. Oh. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm sorry. I was drinking noni juice. <laughs> Talk about sea moss. Sea moss, sea moss, a Trying this new vegan shit. Uh, trying to get my life together. Trying to stay alive for y'all. <laughs> no, fine. I'll just die. 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 I'll die. I'll die. Because I want to. I wanted to stay here. All right, man, chill, man. Oh, gee. Oh, that was my great grandma, man. Oh, everything was, I'll just die. <laughs> oh, y'all just keep the TV on. You want me? Okay, I'll just be dead then. I'm just gonna have it loud so I can't sleep. I'll just be dead then. Wake up dead. <laughs> Ain't nobody. That, that, that TV be loud after 10 o'clock. I don't know what it is about 10 o'clock, but as soon as 10 o'clock hits, that TV. It's way louder than it. Like, your team ain't never get that loud. It's nah. like, you're the movie theater at 10 o'clock. <laughs> How can you be asleep the whole time to about 3, 4 in the morning and then an infomercial, infomercial oh, is the man. loudest it's shit? Strong. Do you want to cook a turkey? <laughs> 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 I am in the morning. They come in your dream and bust that up, man. <laughs> With the vacuum 3000. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> you was getting topped off in the dream. <laughs> It picks up all the dirt residue. <laughs> How would you like to cook a whole turkey on your countertop? <laughs> in 10 minutes. <laughs> I always wake up on the medical ones, and it scare me. It's making me think I have you. You get shortness of breath and wake up in the middle of the night. Like, that's me. That was honestly specific. <laughs> that was honestly specific. <laughs> you made me die. I knew it. Mm -hmm. I knew it. That WebMD, man. Man, oh, I stay off of that. Whenever you go search on WebMD, always ends back on yeah. cancer. Yeah. Always. Oh, always. Yeah. You say you'd be like you dead already if you're reading. Nigga, you'd be like, how do you fix a splinter? I'm like, it may be cancer. Come on, man. <laughs> then they show you a finger look just like your finger. Yeah. <laughs> The same know? picture, same watch, is that my same fucking food thing? in the background, <laughs> like tattoo on the wrist. You're like, whoa, that's my finger. <laughs> <laughs> they got a reflection of you looking into the computer screen, like, this is me now. <laughs> Stage they got, four. They got a death data sheet. <laughs> Stage four. <laughs> Like, how would it be? Yeah. Oh, my God. Gotta stay off of that, man. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the quickest way to die. Yeah, because that, that shit will give you two minutes fucking diagnosis, bro. Two minutes, man. Just go to the doctor. Hang nail. Hang nail. Go to the doctor. Go to the doctor. Yeah, sir. Yeah, just say some, some simple shit. Hang nail. Well, you get your kidneys checked. First chance oh, you get. One for oh, fucking oh. hang nail. Yeah. Yeah, the kidneys produce the, the, the moisture that keeps the nails <laughs> together. So if that's coming off, the kidney might be weak. Yeah, the skin is flaking on, that's cancer. <laughs> Stage four. <laughs> they show you every hospital picture, everybody's hands. It's just like my face. Y'all got me scared, man, because I don't even know a motherfucker that drink eight glasses of water a day. Tony. Tony. I'll be drinking this. Tony gallon, gallon of blood. Day. Gallon of blood. I'll be peeing, though. Big pee. Yeah, tell them about the time you peed on yourself. I peed on myself. <laughs> yeah. Y'all ain't ever peed on yourself like you, you had that, that dog. You had that dream where you thought you was in the bathroom? You did. I, I, dream I, I, was I, 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 oh, I, oh, nobody got sauce, but people be peeing. Yeah. Like, you in the club, you like, man, you be talking in your dream. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I peed. I peed. But I, I, I knew it was my fault. I moved. I moved. I ain't alone in that. I didn't stay in that place. Yeah. I moved. I had to move into a whole nut. My situation Oh, was, you moved out the house? Yeah, I moved. I that I might have just been my subconscious saying, piss on me. <laughs> you be peeing good in the dream. Oh, you oh, be the best peeing in the And that's, that's what lets you know it's a dream, because in my dreams, when I pee, oh. I, I did. I said, that's, a, that's what lets you know it's a dream. I said, in my dreams. He said, dreams. It's cool. I didn't that say dreams. He said, my dreams. You see? Roll back the foot. Roll it back. That roll back that goddamn footage. <laughs> Y'all, if you watch on YouTube, just hit the Don't 10 seconds. Hit the 10 seconds. He's going to the end of the story. You know what he's saying? He has the soul of a free slave. Yeah, the four-year-old baby, the four-day-old baby, right back. All right, put it in the comment section. I'm pissing in my queens. <laughs> Me and my cousin, nigga Demas. <laughs> the pee in the dream is super long. That's all I was gonna say. It's super yeah, long. He tried to get it. He's showing me. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go home and go everything. I was gonna miss 
right now. Okay, just don't pee in your dress. <laughs> don't. Pee. All I was saying was pee in his wife. He closed up the paperwork. All right, man, you know what? <laughs> I gotta catch the fly with you. <laughs> Put my manila on the That shit is that shit is terrifying, man. The, the worst part about peeing on yourself is the dough is if you stay with someone, I had to wake my wife up like, hey. Let me flip this match or something real quick. <laughs> in the middle of the night? In the middle of the night. Oh, oh it's man. fucked up. Man, we had to flip this down the lights off, flip it over, and put the towel under us in the oh, ground. Oh, you should have just peed a little bit on her and be like, babe, you sleep. You sleep. <laughs> <laughs> she went up, I'm like, you sleep. Girl, you done like pissed all over me. <laughs> Come on, I ain't signed up for this. You knew we was in counseling? Babe, like, babe. <laughs> you was drinking? <laughs> that wine got you. Blame it on her? Blame it on her. Now you gonna verify the pee? Nah, listen. Yeah. This enough. You yeah. like, like, hey, you, you got a smoke. Like to have that listen. against you. She know and I'm married to a nigga who pissed. <laughs> wow. She gonna bring that up. That's coming oh, back. She gonna bring that up. Like the I embrace it. I embrace it. I embrace it. I'm like, yeah, I did that. Absolutely, I did Would that. You, like, she, what if she was just bringing it up casually around the family, you know, and then he Here's peed? The she, you know he peed on me, right? <laughs> She she had had it, we talk about it too much. I would have took her weeks to figure out that she didn't pee in the bed. <laughs> she like, she I three weeks later at work like, I had nothing left, but I woke up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Francis. <laughs> hold on, Francis. <laughs> there was no pee on my pants. Just pee fit together? <laughs> my panties wasn't even wet. It was my leg. You can't pee. I could have had it on my leg without. That should have been drenched. And the bottom of my shirt. It was just my bottom leg. Wait this a minute. Mother... Wait a minute. <laughs> he peed on me. He was in Council Seabrook. What's going on in there? No, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> hey, man, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. I got to see y'all tomorrow. He had a whole watching the game. Hold up. What happened to me all the time? Hey, Carlos, you a real piece of work. <laughs> you peed on me the other day. She peed it on. She peed it. She gonna bring the panties back out. They still wet. <laughs> Show me the pee. <laughs> She got two pee what? samples. This is the pee from the bed. <laughs> Notice the color. She this is my pee from, from the same morning. <laughs> Why she already had it from the same morning? She, she, she got, got it little, in the back. <laughs> she got the little paper and shit. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Click that light off. Blue light, come on. <laughs> the blue light? Ever since I this is how I know it wasn't my pee. <laughs> it's pee in the bed and on the couch. <laughs> wow. You got me. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't got you. Come to the bathroom. She gonna hit the blue light again. <laughs> oh, I'm here. <laughs> Can't be living like this. <laughs> you should have peed yeah, on her. I peed on her in the shower. I wouldn't pee on her bed. Like, I peed on her in the shower. Just on the back of the leg, though. Let's see if I can get away with the type of shit. You say what? That's some pissing giving right there. Yeah, that's some pissing giving. Like, I ain't never peed on nobody in the shower just a little bit. That's some pissing giving. Your back was turned, your face was facing the water. They're getting too, that's too much. Your back was just like, let me see if I can get away with it. Your wife's gonna be in the comments. Delete that part. Delete that. That can part. Delete that 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 part. Delete Cause see, this is the shit I'm talking about. Everything ain't fuck podcast material. <laughs> 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 trying to go for a joke. 4533, delete that part. Oh, so that's what we doing? We tell the secrets. <laughs> we tell the secrets. <laughs> oh man. Oh, snap. Y'all ain't never peed on nobody though, is what y'all telling me. No, on purpose. Ain't nobody in the room peed on nobody. When ain't nobody peeing in the sleep, Sabrina comes somewhere. But that was inadvertent. Josh, you ain't never peed on nobody? No, what if you, but that would be a strange way to find out your girl like to be peed on. Mm-hmm. You peed, you was having a dream, and all you hear is, mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, what happened? <laughs> you peed. Oh. You got any laugh? That's the <laughs> oh, oh, I found oh. somebody who would do it. Shorty. She falls right back in love all over again. Oh, I didn't know how to ask. Who you? I didn't know how to ask. I always felt weird bringing it up. I never even thought you know the R. Kelly man. Uh, just know we are good. We are good. I feel like we have reached a new level. Don't even be embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. She come I'm off the work happy as a motherfucker. Hey. <laughs> Oh, like, man. I kind of like it. It's <laughs> 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 
<laughs> now she coming home saying, where is your babe? I planned us a water date. <laughs> what the fuck is a water date? <laughs> well, me and Tony, we we're gonna just, you know, we're gonna get, <laughs> Tony's and his girl's gonna come over, we're just gonna drink a lot of waters. Watch some movies. <laughs> you drinking water too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. gonna come over. Yeah, drink another glass. Yeah. Drink another glass. I got you drink some up. alkaline. I want you, yeah, take that she feature. She's going straight she through you, She dropped too many hits. <laughs> Oh, you want to go to bed? There's a water by your, she by your it side. Up. He's drinking it. Yeah, <laughs> take it all the way, knock it back. Oh. <laughs> Perfect time to shout out all the ladies that like pee pee. <laughs> all the freaks. Oh, man. Yeah. Now my DM's going to be full of stories. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now that you brought it up, I've been meaning to ask you. But I, I'd rather read that than the nigga's like, bro, he ain't the only one who had some song with me. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I was in the ninth grade. <laughs> How are you all the way back? Uh, Hold on, big bro, big bro, I'm saying, you ain't never been late for school. <laughs> man, kids on stage so real for that song. I can, I can see it in the comments. I feel seen. <laughs> I feel seen. The hair on stage is me. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sausage in the pot. We laugh at hard. Oh, We're gonna find out that this shit is common as fuck. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> There's always somebody on the internet. Uh, somebody on what you did. Nigga, I'm coming. I'm a 43 year old man. I had sausages in both hands just the other day. <laughs> I had to get on the bus. <laughs> Oh, God. That's just like hair, seeing man. the dude at Quick Trip with two big ass hot dogs trying to figure out. <laughs> two big ass hot dogs, huh? Hey, man. Here. I yeah. like the ass section food. Y'all See, you that friend that want to go and eat shit you ain't supposed to be eating. And yeah, then, damn right, Then be shitting the whole time. Man, I'm <laughs> no, sick. No, 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 man, no, no. you would not eat fucking hot dogs from the gas station. Seven you know that'd be some good dogs. ass hot dogs in that Quick Trip and that 7 Eleven. Stop that, man. 7 30 a.m. You niggas got money to change. You <laughs> did? Nobody. That's the point we're trying to live in. That shit keep you humble, nigga. Hot dogs. High blood pressure don't keep you humble? Why? You gotta take a pill every day. That's discipline. Keeps you humble, nigga. You don't want high blood pressure. Nigga. I take a pill every day. Let's send a pill. I'm already on that shit. What's up? He said like he was banking. Let's send a pill. Let's send a pill. Let's send a pill. Let's send a pill. 0.5 milligrams, nigga. What's up? <laughs> What's up, my nigga? What's your dosage? I don't take What's your dosage? What's your dosage? Well, you know, since, heart medication? since I don't eat gas station hot dogs, <laughs> I'm medicine free. Believe it or not. Believe it Listen, or not. Listen, 7-Eleven got some good hot dogs and some good pizza. Now you gotta get the you whole pizza. You know goddamn well you don't supposed to be eating pizza eat, from the eat, whole pizza. You gotta get the whole, you gotta get the whole thing, because it's fresh if you get the whole thing. You can't get it by the Brother, slice. Brother, they <laughs> cooked it on the light bulb. <laughs> Nigga, hold on, but hold on. That is a commercial <laughs> Easy Bake oven. I was just saying, you ain't never had nothing from an Easy Bake ever? Man, I've been eating thing. Domino's my whole life. I ain't never seen they oven. Man, when you get pizza from 7-Eleven, the oven is right there. Right. Nigga, you can watch the pizza. The oven is on top of the lottery light. ticket. And they still be using the shovel. It sound like y'all don't appreciate these technology. Are, these they found even... a way to officially cook food with a light bulb, and you niggas don't appreciate it. Nigga, we know that shit you. is not healthy. Nah, you can't eat that shit. Bro, no, that's why never. I said you gotta get the whole pizza. You gotta get the pizza. I say I get the hot dogs early in the morning when they're fresh. I right. they, 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 they put it on a roll about seven o'clock. I roll in that bitch about eight fifteen. Now it's plump on all sides. It's evenly cooked. It's it evenly heated up. Now the pizza, you gotta say, hey, I want a whole pizza, all right? And they're gonna take it out the plastic and they'll slide that bitch in the oven. Boop, boop, boop. Two minutes and 45 seconds later, you got fresh ass You pizza. don't have to do this. I know I don't. <laughs> you a blessed, bro. Like, you, you don't. don't. I, know I get it, you in college and like right. oh, yeah. dollars. I get it, you ain't got much choice. Yeah. You have options. What's your point? <laughs> 7 Eleven is one of them options. Nigga, if I go to my house, I'm like, 7 Eleven. That's what I'm doing. That's like. <laughs> He just said I got options, nigga. I got options at 7-Eleven. All I, I hear in my head is that E-40 song. Everybody got choice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Keeps you humble. I'm on the humble tip, man. What's some of the best shit y'all ate since y'all been here? Though, for the food show? Dogs, no, 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 fuck it. What? You keep coming back. We had right. breakfast at Barney's today. Barney's. That had everything they had was crazy. You should have went to the uh, Atlanta Breakfast Club. They got some dope ass breakfast. Nigga, why you ain't telling us? You got you everybody didn't ask me. Call us. I text you like three Swimming Huskies pizza. We had yeah. that. That hey, shit fucked. We going right after that. You should have got <laughs> Edgewood pizza too. They just we just got turned on in them. You would have liked Shipless Donuts, not Shipless. What's the dude? Sublime, Sublime Donuts. Oh, yeah, what is that at? Check that to me. Yeah, that's all on my list. They got Sublime? Okay. Oh, we, you should have linked man, the next, on the I next know. scene. No, he hit me after we was already done. Like, this I got a whole issue. He had a snake heart. 
Wait, you ain't a snake? Oh, you niggas giving me trash about 7-Eleven pizza? I'm waiting a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't that don't mean nothing. Don't bring culture to this. Yeah. Don't do that. That's why when they was like, stop the Asian hate. I was like, man, I've been fucking with them Asians. I've been fucking with them. Man, that man, this nigga here. Yo, we we just exchanged the cultural stories, bro. That nigga went to his grandfather's village and they was like, you want to do this gangster shit? And he was like, I'm Vietnamese for real. I just know a little English. And they was like, they said some shit in their native language that was kind of like pussy. And then he was like, let me show you. And then they went, they had a ceremony. They killed the snake and they took the blood and they smeared some under his ass. And he didn't even flinch. And then they did like, some on his cheek. And then they kind of like made like a design. And he just sat there. Right. This was as he was getting a native haircut with a sharp ass piece <laughs> of obsidian. They, of they took the obsidi obsidian and they was layering his shit in the back. Right. Put some designs obsidian. in it. Yeah. Kind of like a mohawk, but it was like a Where half they, a mohawk. Is obsidian, bro. It was in the jungles of Vietnam. That's so right. now he's sitting there, right? It's this big ass slab, right. marble slab. Uh -huh. They take this big ass snake, the snake crawling up the slab. By the time it get to him, they stretch it out. Bust that bitch down like a Philly cigarillo. <laughs> Flip the snake open, take the heart out. Then snip the, the snake penis off too, oh, right? Man, then they take a, a really shot glass, like fill it up with blood, put the penis at the bottom. Right. Then they put the heart in that bitch and kind of like whisk it a little bit. Uh -huh. My boy took that shit, <clears throat> drunk two of them. And they was like, you must be the descendant of the king of this village. <laughs> so now his picture's up everywhere. Like, oh, in the look. Yeah. This is really, this really happened. Yeah, I don't make up shit, bro. Everybody Look in the regular orange juice glass. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. It was in the jungle though, but they kind of they got Amazon Prime. That snake was like, <laughs> that snake thought he was coming over for dinner. He's like, what's oh, you cooking tonight? Snap. He is the dinner. Man, that snake Freaking like, snake blood. Is, that's a caption, bro. This how Freaking we live. Snake blood. What yeah. does it taste like? No, oh, yeah. metallic. Bro, look at that. Oh, just so you that's can stomach big heart. it. Just to chase it. Yeah. That heart was big. Man. Yeah, ain't no snake hearts. You gotta have heart to be a snake, bro. Come on, man. What's this, Indiana Jones? What are you trying to prove? This is the Temple of Doom. Bro, right? we gotta do that. Like, oops, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Did you wipe your mouth with it? They cut it out, they drink the blood, they put it on. Yeah. But what they don't tell you is once you drink a snake heart, your dick would be hard enough to hang a hat on. <laughs> Did that happen with it? You keep that that gas station pill. Did you uh did you do some of the snake blood as well? You didn't you didn't want to fuck? Black. Me? Black, okay. <laughs> Black. <laughs> fuck around and drink some snake blood, end up with the goddamn sickle cell. You know? <laughs> oh, gout? You don't want to fuck gout. around. You know how they do us. Gout, seriously. I'm from the project, though. I'm I'm immune to a lot of shit. You from Mississippi. Right? Yeah, and I'm from the project, so I was like. That's a double pull. <laughs> like I never had a chance. I lived, in the poorest, I lived in the projects in the poorest Poor state. state. Yeah. So we were on the Double ground. Man. That's why you got the cars. You like little Los, I got you. Mm -hmm. Every car you saw, I'm gonna like get one day. Right. I'm gonna have all the cars. He looked off into the distance. <laughs> <laughs> Mississippi Delta was looking at him. Like, yeah, we gonna make it happen for you. Exactly. What what city yeah. Mississippi is it? Oxford. Oxford, Mississippi. Yeah. That's where uh, University of Mississippi is, ain't it? Ole Miss. Ole Miss, I mean. <clears throat> Hell yeah. That's that's the same place. You do that all the time, huh? Mm -hmm. So studies. you know when they have the games. Well, Oxford, Mississippi, mm -hmm. Eli Manning versus Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's always they they the city. city. They give you the city, the population. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. He was there with him when he did that? He was there with Yeah. Him. It, it, I was around when Eli Manning played at Ole Miss. I used to no, go. I was talking about riding with the snake heart and all that. Nah, he's uh, just, this is my partner. Okay. Right he there. said, I was there with Eli Manning. He was, he was cool. The I had snake, him in no. the drop top. <laughs> <laughs> he threw me the pass. I caught him, you know. He right. drove off in the sunset. He used to throw parties at the crib, bro. He used Eli? To, yeah, that nigga liked to drink. Oh, he looked like it. Yeah, he's a real drinker. That nigga used to take like a plastic bag and like wrap that shit around his wrist and then just be walking around with just. Beers and shit around his wrist. No. Oh, that's white. <laughs> Bro, you get to see a lot of strange shit living in a place like that. Like, people don't, like, the first time I saw Peyton Manning, like, I thought that shit was unreal. Not because it was like he was a superstar, but this motherfucker has the biggest head. Oh, man. This motherfucker head, like, yeah, this fucking tall. 
Him, and you know who else got a big ass fucking head? Ric Flair. That nigga head big this <laughs> really? way and this way. <laughs> I see Ric Flair yeah. in the airport. That's why the niggas ain't woozing much. We let the air out. Woo! Motherfucking head is swelling up in him. Woo! Bring it back there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Every, <laughs> every, every few hours, his head explodes. I saw Ric Flair at the, uh, the J. Paul fight. He was hosting a slap, a slapping competition. <laughs> Maybe oh. slapping the shit out. Oh, dude got knocked out. <laughs> he, he was slapping at some more. Maybe dude. chalking it up. They were like, yeah, man. <laughs> just, just stand there and take a slap to the face. That's a good oh, I used to host that in Atlanta. I they used to do it in the strip club. Yeah. yeah. What, a slapping contest in Atlanta? Yeah. Club? I hosted one of the first slap contests around here. <laughs> I just love how they be holding the table after the <laughs> slap. They be working the slide around. <laughs> Did they get a good one? The documents, the dice, the pins sliding off, highlighters. I like the motherfuckers that be professional. The niggas be getting hit with whole houses and they be like, I've been hit harder. Like, motherfucker, motherfucker, don't worry about it. Put some water on his head. Don't worry about it. They just <laughs> take it. Bruh, the Samoan dude took it, bruh. And then he was like, oh, it's my turn. Oh. Right here, look right here. The it more dude good. is the white dude. Oh, bruh. bruh. Look at this. Look at Pete oh, Davidson. Pete, is Pete Davidson? Yeah, he smacked him. Yeah, he's he, he finna take that. Oh, he, he made that. that. Bro, it didn't even move his head. Nah, Look, he started smiling. That beard is good. I thought, I, yeah, yeah, it didn't even look uh, like he made that. He just said, Woo! This is my style. Right there. This is Hobbs and Shaw right here. <laughs> and here we go. Oh, he told me shit before. Sometimes hey. Rick Flair be looking like he can't believe he's still alive. Yeah. <laughs> hey, them wrestlers be dying. Oh, right? this cocaine I'm done. <laughs> All these steroids. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's always funny though when they size up the slap. Because they be like. They come just, they, they, listen, when the crowd start counting, win it one. It's like Two. golf. Like, yeah, right, right yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> you know what to fuck the game up? If somebody like did all that, went through all the motions, and then they like purposely missed, oh. became bad. <laughs> <laughs> Just took home the trophy. <laughs> you would have thought you missed. Oh, he missed. Oh, he missed. Oosh, you see him coming back? It's all in the form. It's slow motion. <laughs> you see him flinch up, man. Because the dude's going to drop his guard. He's going to be like, oh, yeah, he's going to relax. He's still feeling the air. He's talking shit. Because he ain't going to be tense no more, man. A whole, bunch, a whole bunch of pimps. Hey, he let the cheese go. He let the heat. God that's what we talking about. They're going to have goblets. Oh, <laughs> snap. What's the prize for the slap contest? I think he got motion, five grand, ten motion. grand. Something like that. It went a lot. They should make it like five grand, but you got to take home like a random ass prize too. Like, <laughs> like an 06 maximum. <laughs> <laughs> that car. Last year's winner of the maxima. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that don't make no more. It's got to be something that don't make no more. It's got to be. It's got to be. A Pontiac Swift. <laughs> <laughs> one that Suzuki Swift, man. <laughs> they got some brand new ones. Oh, man. I wonder if Nissan knows that people think about their cars. <laughs> you say what? I wonder if Nissan be like, man, you know people be laughing at the Altimus <laughs> and stuff, man. But they be selling them. You been <laughs> selling them? Oh, the fatter one. I ain't never heard of the dude who came up with the Toyota Corolla. Oh, man. That's the go to That was my car color. forever. Well, you drive a Corolla. <laughs> <laughs> I had one with a spoiler, but I was like, mine got an S on the back. Don't nobody care he probably, about that. He probably the dude at the job that know everything, but don't nobody want to ask because he's such a dickhead about everything. Well, you know, I came up with the Corolla. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't going, kid. What have you ever done? He be all at the board meeting. The Corolla is the most successful thing we've done. Yeah, but we want to focus more on the camera this year. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want to do that? Don't fix what ain't broke. It's a Corolla, baby. It's a Corolla. I'm in the Corollas we got there on the street right now. Well, Corolla right, people hate everywhere. to work on this floor, too. Look, I was down there on the second floor. This man. It's, fuck, it's a madhouse down there, man. This motherfucker talking about a Corolla. <laughs> Fucking turbo. They trying to make a turbo. What? 
That's what I want. I would much much rather work in minivans (laughs) or even fucking (laughs) compact SUVs, but don't send me, bro, if they send me back to Corolla, I'm 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 out this motherfucker. I I swear to God, bro. I'm gonna walk out this bitch. Watch me. Watch me. I'm gonna kick everything. If you rather work in minivans, at least you got the sliding door, actually. Man, you know, Deborah now, they be doing cupcakes on Wednesdays and shit. <laughs> oh man. Them motherfuckers be down there moving in Corolla. This non-stop, non-stop. Oh, airbags, airbags. <laughs> oh. Safety, safety, safety. Like, bro, man, I'm so sick of that shit. Oh, move, me the, move me the oh, fucking man. sequoias, man. I'd rather work in sequoias? I work in sequoias. <laughs> big wide <laughs> But Avalon, man, come on. Yeah. They got rid of it. It's like the Avalon. Mm-hmm. It really was, though. That Avalon, you, they had some nice ones. Like, you could literally let the back seat down. A little Bro, bit I had Avalon. a co worker who had an Avalon. You might as well have been in the. What big. about niggas that drive two door Altimus? <laughs> oh, them niggas thought they was a shit. <laughs> it's like, well, if you don't get that knockoff G37 to fuck up on Spend the extra 10 grand and get the G, my nigga. <laughs> Good student man's car. Good student? I feel like if you got a two-door Ultima, your whole church is proud of your <laughs> academic achievement. Come on, he got a 3-8. <laughs> Tell him tomorrow. And how the church was. went yeah, in to make sure you could get back and forth to your school. <laughs> got you this 2.0 turbo Ultima. <laughs> the church went in? He like, oh, what I get? Oh, no. He went outside right in front of the church. We had a little bow on it. Yeah. Oh, Fully loaded, 2021 Corolla. Like, if you can, you can have this when you want. I'm going to take the Ultima, bro. <laughs> Oh, man. Ain't even no payments, man. <laughs> Rather take my chances. Corolla comes with two pieces of sausage. Oh, oh, man. Man. Hey, I, you know what this reminds me? I bet it's I bet it's some niggas that work at Volvo. Like niggas is sleep on Volvo. Oh, oh, Volvo. Volvo. Oh, Volvo. 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 The yeah. new Volvos are real nice though. They got some nice ones. They tell you one car. I named one car you never seen a black man in. What? A fucking Subaru Outback. No lie, kid you not. They, I had a brand deal, and Subaru was like, "All you gotta do is drive the Outback." I was like, "Ah, come that on." That was my I mean, first car. I can't. It's not in the that car community. Car. We really that's, that's, can't. No, Nobody will believe it. Was a legacy. I'll pull up in a Subaru Outback, but you know what? I have to like what would have to be playing every time you pull up. That same song Nino Brown was listening to. <laughs> Which my one? back against the wall, yeah, yeah, my and my dick, dick is in the dust. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that exact scene. That's what G-Money got excited, and he stood up in the back. <laughs> he pulling up on your homies on the block. Yo, so you, you need to come over here and holler at me. <laughs> I'm going to that Subaru, man. <laughs> hey, bro, spin the block. Spin the block. <laughs> <laughs> The Subaru Outback. Yo, you yeah. told him no just because you're in one. I, I, like, I saw you in the Maserati big flex. Come on, man. <laughs> Carlos commented. He don't be commenting much. But yeah. the Maserati, he was like, let me get this. Bro, I only I comment you. on people that I know for real shit. Because I be getting calls. Niggas be insecure online. Bro, what you meant by that? <laughs> Like, nigga, do I need to put the emojis so you would know? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, you know, niggas be trying to sneak and say shit. I was like, nigga, I said congratulations. <laughs> nah, but it's the way you said it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, 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 why you ain't kept the last to see? Yeah. Everything was small cast, but you had a capital S at the end. <laughs> you a snake, Carl. I don't know, man. You a snake. You you know what that that means mean you didn't really type that shit. You pasted that shit, didn't you? <laughs> didn't you? Uh-huh. Cut and paint. Man, <laughs> you got to be careful with that fucking though. comments, true, though. man. They, they take it personal. Mm-hmm. But when I saw it, I was so proud. Because you was for real, nigga. It was, it was a black man moment right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it reminded me so much of Cooley High. When I seen you in that bitch, all I kept hearing was pre saying, I used to drive this Maserati for this white chick. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that scene? <laughs> man, you ain't drove no Maserati for no white lady, man. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, man, I just drive a Maserati. He changed when he got that truck. Oh, bro. And, and, and I'm proud of Bro, him. as you should. Bro, the car turn on, it go up. I ain't even know when I bought it. Car lifts up? Like, window oh, of the stunt, seat come out? Stunt. Bro, they got the sport mode? What you do in sport mode? Oh, come on, man. How the fast engine. can you pick the kids up in sport mode? Oh, soccer practice in come sport on. mode? <laughs> tell him, tell him about the sense of that beat when motherfuckers get too close to oh, the shit. Oh, come on, they be like, hey, man, hey. <laughs> you, you broke. Just, just stick away from us. I 
always take my son to soccer practice in the Maserati. Really? Every time. He got to. I got If I'm in my wife's car, she mm. got a CRV. I, hold on, before I take him, let me go That's by. That's real the safe. That's a safe ass vehicle. It is. It is. And it will last 500,000 miles. Man. It will. Uh, Hondas will go, bro. Bro. Hondas will go. Hondas I used to sell cars. My Honda beat up some, some more. It still threw yeah. a jump in. It was, you I still got it? it? took it. No, I, the clutch went out. Mm. I saw it with the clutch gone. Really? Yo, somebody was happy to have it. Like, nigga, I've been looking for one of these, my boy. All I'm you like, need is a clutch. I'm putting that in in your driveway. You <laughs> <laughs> had a clutch in his pocket, man. I got no lie, bro. It, the white hey, dude was like, oh, I'm taking quick. the engine out anyway. <laughs> so, fuck the clutch. It was quick. I'm yeah. like, bro, it don't go more than 15 miles an hour. They're like, so. Easy work. I had a um, uh, Honda cool. Accord. No, I was like, the, the station wagon Accord. And I had bought it. Yeah, they, you know, like they had the all this shit you name it. I'm gonna just buy an obscure ass car now. I'm gonna Listen, find some obscure ass car. I bought car. it because dark, this was first, I when I first bought the, the first time I bought the five speed all wheel drive. M45. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that bitch was a V8. The first time I bought the M45, and that motherfucker was it was getting 16 miles to a gallon in mm-hmm. LA, and I was like, this ain't gonna work. Yeah. So I bought this little Honda Accord wagon. And a, a dude didn't tell me because I bought it off of Craigslist. This is before I knew the difference between Craig, Craigslist and the eBay. Man, that motherfucking transmission went out two days later. Oh, hell. Wow. I put that shit back on Craigslist and sold it two days later. <laughs> when I told him, I said, hey, the transmission is going out. Because I tried to go get the transmission fixed. Transmission gone. It was gone, nigga. It was it missed every day of school for a year. And But they, they bought it for the same price. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Hey, what's up? It's Carlos Miller. And if you don't know by now, Blue Chew is where it's at. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of the licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. Blue Chew's tablets help men achieve harder, stronger erections to combat all forms of erectile dysfunction. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and they are prepared and shipped direct, so it's cheaper than a pharmacy. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use promo code 85SOUTH at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code 85SOUTH, so you can receive your first month free. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Oh. Oh, snap. Shop at Tomahawk. 85 Bro, you singing. That's the hoodie made out of hoodie material. What, what, what else was it supposed to be made out of, though? No, nah, the pants made out of hoodie material, too. You bullshit. No, nah, bro, I, I got all this shit. Bro. So, we, so we taking hoodies and making pants? We making pants, hoodies, and tops and shit. But these are for the 85 percenters. Make sure you go and hit the website and grab you some of this apparel so we can right know. Now that you're an official 85 percenter, so you can wear this on vacation this summer. You, If you don't get the hoodie, Got a shot. you should get the hoodie. I know it's hot, but you got to let them know where to get it, though, man. Like if you're going to be on the plane or something, you don't know. It's going to be cold in a lot of places, so you're going to need some sleeves just in case. You hear me? Then you take that off, and you or got you this on. It. Yeah. Like if you don't, you know, if you get cold fast, keep the 85 South hoodie. Come on, but man. And then we're going to be rocking this T-shirt most of the summer. Niggas who work out gonna cut the sleeves apparel. off. Ladies gonna cut the sleeves Co- off. Get some side titty going on here. Dot com. Hell yeah. You did. To all the ladies who got the abs, you could just cut this part off and just leave us out. We wearing this on vacation all summer. I ain't playing. I'm wearing this shit on the plane. Yeah. I'm taking this one. You got a sleeveless hoodie? Nah, I ain't wearing no sleeves. I ain't look. I ain't even do that stupid ass shit. You gotta dance if you do that. You be dancing? Well, you, I, I do, but that's dancing. Dance. You can that get away dumb. with it. Why would I buy this to cut the sleeves out when I could have bought the shirt? <laughs> but it got it get on the shirt. Not don't have the, the hood on it, huh? You gotta throw the hood on while you. This dancing. shit gon' then ain't gonna stretch because this is good material. But you know when you rip this part off and you just got no sleeves, that shit be stupid. I got the dude who be like, like buddy, that shit just buddy, stupid. I like that shirt. Mm-hmm. And he sell me a lot of these blanks. Because if you hot, you're going to be hot. Why would you be hot with a hood on with no sleeves? I mean, if you looking cool. You don't look homeless. If you look cool while you hot, you won't be as hot. It's going to be a homeless man like, let me get that up on They got all our old ones. They do. The ones that got messed up. You know what? I seen a dude walking down the street with a hood on the other day. It was so dirty, I thought it was camouflage. Hit the website. <laughs> we out of here. <laughs> 
I got an Oscar car, the Chevy Lumina. Mm. That's obscure. <laughs> that was popular. When, when it was out, it was popular. It was yeah. popular. You can pull up at any church in America, it'll be a Lumina out there. Yeah. <laughs> this That's Sunday. <laughs> I had a Lumina. That was my second uh, car. My mom, like had, a, my mom had a green one. Those <laughs> bitches ride immaculate. Mm-hmm. I'm like talking about Lumina. miles a gallon. That bitch got about yeah. 27. <laughs> <laughs> he liked that bitch already. Yeah. You don't like it? You like that, Jimmy? He like it. Oh, he that? like it. <laughs> He liked it. with the issue with the burgundy. Uh, I'm gonna kill him with the burgundy. The burgundy, burgundy. on burgundy, on burgundy. The burgundy and the white one, both big trash. He said, ooh, because he, he, he done yeah, like three gun teams that had that. I had blue one. <laughs> Killing him. Look up, uh, look up the Chevy Beretta, though. Chevy Beretta. That's ooh. the auntie car. Yo, <laughs> she had the Beretta GT. <laughs> that was a coupe, though, wasn't it? That was a family sedan. That's a Beretta. Yeah, yeah. I used to like the Beretta. I used to the Beretta. I'm yeah. telling you, I'm getting a fucking Subaru. You gonna be All the first drive Should. with turbo. Don't do Subaru that. Out there? Somebody <laughs> watching this got one for sale. It's funny that you mentioned <laughs> that. What's his uh, What's his email? What's called those emails? I'm gonna shoot him something real quick. Probably high mileage as fuck. Two hundred and fifty thousand oh, yeah. miles. That's another one of them. They'll stay on the road for a long time. Yeah, who the fuck drove it that long? Yeah, nigga, no. somebody. Get the I'll get me a fucking Subaru and put some foes on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> they probably don't make no rims to fit a Subaru because no. it's some stupid shit like a three lug. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't heard about the tri wide lugs? What the fuck is that? You only need three. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a vehicle I want, but I can't like justify buying it. I, I, I love the Volkswagen bus. Oh, old school it. one? Yeah. I like those. Like too. the Scooby Doo? Like yeah. the, the hippie van? Yeah. I like those. Yeah. Gabriel Glaciers, he got a whole bunch oh, of those. He loves those. He joints. trick them out and stuff. He does. Yeah, he got I about $2 million dollars worth of fucking buses. He did. I saw that little special that he did. Yeah. I go Cross Crunch in them joints. You go where? Cross, Cross Crunch. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I to stay in the fumble. Cross Crunch. Cross Crunch. <laughs> Cross Crunchy. <laughs> Cost crunchy. Are you trying to say it right now? No. No, nah, he's not. Nah, he's still saying the wrong. I'm trying, yeah. to, I'm trying to say the fumble. Yeah. Stay in there. Got to give him something for the comment section. <laughs> Cross crunchy. Oh, they got plenty. <laughs> they going to go on about sausages for no, days. Oh, sausage. As soon as that thing happened, yeah. and I was like, early in the episode, I was like, man, God. <laughs> comment section going to be active. <laughs> they going to be sending me pictures of something. They ain't going to make it this far. They still laughing. For the pool. Yeah. Right here. So, Kev, tell me about ah. Kev on stage studios. <laughs> no, fuck that. Sausage. Give me that sausage. This is in your pocket. I hope this shit goes stupid viral. All, all kinds of sausage companies reach out. Hey, Kev, have you tried our organic turkey sausages? Great for putting in your pocket. Go see Kev on, on Instagram. A Hormel commercial. This sausage is good enough. Hey, I got to head to the studio. Hey, Kev, grab your sausages. <laughs> Freeze, freeze. <laughs> that's gonna be the selling point. That's gonna be the selling point. Over for today. It's gonna be some yeah. independent company out of Sacramento. Kev, we're an independent company. We want to do a product called Kev on Sausages. <laughs> <laughs> now get this, get this, get this. They're pocket sized. Oh, <laughs> but they pack a big punch. <laughs> Four grams of protein. Think about it. Just something to think about. Ah. And just, just, just gonna drop this in front of you. They're lit resistant. <laughs> <laughs> Do that what you want, man. Do that what you want. Here's the kicker. Uh-huh. No grease stains. Right. <laughs> See, that's what Maserati shows back up with a gift box. Kev, heard you love summer sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Maserati put me in their uh, their year in video. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? When they was introducing I wouldn't make one, but they owe you a free payment. <laughs> yeah, they didn't, bro. They, we <laughs> talked about a brand new deal. I was like, all right, man, watch out. Oh, they didn't want the brand new What? Well, like, he is black. Out. Ain't all this. That's what it is. He is black. Oh, they only... put him in the, in the thing? He's yeah. black and they also don't need him. They, 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 they only put him in there for fine. diversity. Absolutely. Uh, they gonna sell the Maseratis anyway. Yeah, yeah. They ain't got no commercials. They sell it just fine. They sell it. <laughs> hey, but I was had this idea. Yeah, yeah, well, shut, man, up. shut up. Man. Shut up. We put you in the video. Now, huh? And we heard you had sausages. Yeah. They didn't even come I mean, out yet. Maserati's got Ferrari engines in. Mm, they, that, that, yeah. that car goes. Mm. It goes. The pandemic, when I got it, 
Man, it was. I could go anywhere. Now traffic yeah, back. You can't traffic believe it. Traffic back, bro. You can't it believe it. Back. Atlanta traffic is rivals LA. Traffic yeah. is traffic. But it's it's just like downtown though. It's like that. that well, and the only reason Atlanta has traffic is because nobody knows where the fuck they're going. Man, I mean Every, they know where they want to go. The 20, they just don't know 20, how to get 75, there. 20, 75, 85, 85 South the, North. No, because it's, it's like, like in six. Atlanta. It might take you 30 minutes to get there, but it'll take you 15 minutes to get back to where the fuck you came from. <laughs> but yeah. you can never figure out how to get there in 15 minutes. Everybody down here drive like they're looking for an address on the building. They are. Everybody. Oh, they be stopping. They stopped at the green light on me and Josh. At the green light, just stop hold. <laughs> it's sad. <laughs> they were like, yeah, green light. <laughs> right here. So I was like, what you doing? He was like, it's the opposite day, my nigga. like, both dress shoes on the pedal. Hard stop. <laughs> Y'all can imagine how doing it. Like, they just stay there? They just stay. You don't know what was going on in that car. <laughs> in the turning lane. They was just like, Arr. The nigga driving that car might have been going through it. <laughs> Bitch, I don't know who the fuck no goddamn Tosh is. I didn't pee on you. You peed on me. You think I want this? It just happened. I got sausages in my pocket. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I've been doing this since I was a kid. It was an accident the first time. Now it's a ride of passion. I'm gonna teach it to my son. I'm gonna hit him as hell in that, in that Corolla. What the fuck the nigga in the Maserati then? Yes. Take it. Nigga, sell me the Impala. No, man. What you want to spend on Impala? Now we're getting to the real. Yeah. I can make some calls for you. <laughs> I don't trust He's nobody else. You, here. you think I would put my name on some bullshit? That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> now, if I told you what I wanted for mine, you would look at me like, but, but we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> Then I gotta go through and explain to you why I need this amount. I mean, I already know what you're doing. My shit just look normal. Well, I said, I oh, figured you, you opened the hood on them. I what figured was the that first one, one that you was got just, that you was like, you first was like, okay, this, I'm finally in a position that I could do what I've been wanting to. Shit. The first car I bought it when I got in position, I bought a Challenger. No, well, Atlanta got some challenges. They, yeah, they go down the like, Yeah, my race. shit. Yeah. They Man. Made, they just that. banned that shit. They just passed a new, like, street like street law type shit. Because motherfuckers be racing this. Well, they the, ain't abiding by it, nigga. They be downtown. Oh, well, they, they taking Charlotte, like, challenges and Hellcats and shit. Now, I was about to call them Charlie horses. <laughs> Charlie <laughs> and they taking Charlie horses. Don't fuck around and get caught having a Charlie horse. <laughs> Cross country, man. Yeah, man. But if what? If they catch you racing? Yeah. yeah. Oh, but nah, they even if they got like a description of your shit, they can just take it. Word. Yeah. They, so a lot of people just shit just been getting took. Yeah, they was down there losing their mind. We need to talk about the boot situation in Atlanta. Yeah, oh God, God, this a whole they booted us so on. quick. Combat. It's the thing though. The motherfuckers who put the boots on, they sitting in the parking lot that's in a regular ass car. Yeah. That's what everybody from Atlanta <laughs> said. They said they watch you walk out the parking lot. Yeah. As soon as you cross the street, the boot is on there. Yeah. And then and they, they say, in a regular car. I had caught the nigga one time. He hadn't even closed the boot. Like it's seventy five dollars to reverse it. I was like, nigga, let me give you forty dollars and put that shit up. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Cash, right? Cash. Cash. He on the like hey, 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 it's up to you. Hey. If I put it, if I close it, it's one fifty. Yeah. <laughs> They hit him with the two boots. Man. Because they said people been taking the one Both feet. The tire off. And they just been and leaving. The spare on. Yeah, my homeboy, he got the, uh, the tire shop. He been picking up a lot of just people changing their tires and leaving them. Bro, it seems like it costs more to get the, the tire, tire and the wheel replaced, though. Bruh. Than the $75 for the boot, though. They had a boot meeting. It was like, we got to put two boots on these things, yeah, man. We, we get too clever. We losing boots. We lose the recipe. I ain't that's how stupid it is, though. Like, motherfuckers are on the building and another motherfucker on the parking lot. Yeah. yeah. That's stupid. It's smart for the motherfucker who own the parking lot. Bruh. It's smart for the motherfucker that, that got the boot company. I would hate to be at a party and you meet a rich asshole, like a real douchebag. He's like, I don't want 100 parking lots. 
I'm gonna punch that nigga in the face. Especially if you get, you been drinking a little bit and he's still over there. He's like, mm. he be watching the whole party too. He ain't even doing nothing. Yeah. That voice just said, oh, yeah. a bunch of parking lot notes like, he had a $40. I lost that because of you. It was he gonna you. be in the back of the club. Like, <laughs> you, be, you hit him and knock his ass out. Like, boom. As they walk you out the club, somebody had to hit that motherfucker. <laughs> I did it with a cup. Yeah, somebody had to do it, goddammit. Yeah, man. That motherfucker, t- yeah, tell him what he told you after he took nah, the boot off. Nah, man, he took this the boot off. Hold the shit right here, though. He took the boot off, because we were shooting over there. He took the boot off. He was like, what time y'all leaving? We were like, we on eight or nine. He was like, because I'm coming back at 12. You out here again? I'm going to get, get you again. Get, you know? <laughs> Regular whip. <laughs> in a Mustang. Chilling. Baby, Baby boots in the trunk. Baby, I got you. You gotta see how that nigga do it. Nigga don't never get off the phone with his girl. Yeah, hell yeah. And this fuck ass nigga out here done paid this shit. And the boot is smoke. Motherfucker think it's a game. Yeah. Niggas be thinking they come from out of town, man. Goddamn, think this boot shit is a motherfucking game. Hold on. Yeah, man, this motherfucker got me fucked up. Bro. Let me sit here and wait. Hold up, hold up. Here you come. Damn, bro, they booted your shit. <laughs> I just pulled up. I ain't seen shit. Bro. Uh, that's funny. I know he put, he, put, he put that boot on like that. He, he was on the phone when he came out. Yeah. You got on the phone and took the picture? And they I got him there with one little raggedy shirt. He's supposed mm-hmm. to leave the company. Oh, shirt. man. He tried to act like he did us a favor by cutting up fast. Like, nigga, you wanted to get these boots back so you can get three more cars. Bro. I ain't doing nothing, Trump baby. Full of boots. Full of boots! Nigga. He was a journey in the back of his car. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> I didn't get that at first. No, I was like, what you, he was leaving? I thought yeah. you meant like metaphor. Nigga. <laughs> oh no, they said, okay, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got a headache, man. Uh, Bro, y'all niggas are crazy, man. What's the name of this food show? Uh, What's Good. So it's like, what's good Atlanta? What's good St. Louis? What's good Seattle? Y'all going to Emos? Got that right, y'all. Was that St. Louis? Yeah, St. Louis got pizza. Some good pizza. St. Louis got good food. Yeah, St. Louis got good food. Chicago got good food. Chicago, yeah. Gotta go. I'm gonna take him to Bing Lou over there by Beaumont. Is that the hood Chinese spot you took him to? Yeah. Was that Louis Brown? Yeah, yeah, that's one of them. That was smack. Bro, I forgot the name of this sport. It's the sports bar in St. Louis that we had went to. Hell yeah, them motherfuckers got some wings so good, nigga, the staff will come out and watch you eat them and be like, <laughs> I told you, nigga, everybody fucking eating wings, bro. And my boys, like, like, you ain't never had these? Okay, what? Them niggas go extra, extra, and everybody. Nigga, hit the, the, the trailer. I told that motherfucker you gonna like this. Got another one. They be dying in the middle of the kitchen. They know you gonna like it. They be waiting with their phone. <laughs> Didn't, hey, hey, bro, how you like them motherfuckers? Finna put this on the ground. <laughs> what's your name? What's your Instagram, buddy? <laughs> Keep on on stage. <laughs> you follow Tony the Baker. Oh, stop. Oh my God. I thought that was, that, it was time for us to go. No, that nigga over there high, that hit the button. I thought it was too. I was like, why well, I guess it's over. Yeah, I thought the credit was rolling. But look at that. I came back, he was crazy up there. You so think I would let them do me like that? I thought we ran the lights, no. man. I thought somebody else had did it because he didn't move once the music started. He didn't like scramble to try to stop it. He just yeah, like. Man. No, that nigga laughed, hit the button. <laughs> he was right corner. He didn't look around or nothing. He didn't look up. <laughs> Like when the teacher coming around you after you doing work? Yeah. <laughs> That's how them some more. I would've scrambled, I would've knocked more shit over trying to get it. Uh-huh. Shit. Why are you thinking that? so far? <laughs> you had to put your tongue out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's how I used to do when I was trying to cheat and she come around. Oh, yeah. You're trying to look us up and she see walking like, fuck, what was that? That look was never authentic. <laughs> that look was What did she say? <laughs> you, so, she was out here trying to act like we think. Yeah, this is hey, Thank you. Mm-hmm. Y'all just reminded me. Motherfuckers in school used to try to lie. Hey man, I ain't steady. I'm still cheating off you. You know more about this shit than I do. You steady. I believe in you more than I believe in myself right you now. You know who got the good grades. Oh man. yeah. I didn't even study, so what? <laughs> cheat. You do all the answers on the pretest, nigga. I'm still going with you. I actually cheating in uh, second grade. 
You didn't even give life a chance. You got Blue. I don't know. What you think is blue? It was a spelling test. Red. I was like, I know my best spell. What you think? I had that shit. I had it on my desk. It was one. We had the individual desk, and everybody was sitting there. I had wrote it down, and Courtney punk ass was saw me writing it earlier in the day. I put the shit down in between my legs. I'm writing the shit down. The teacher was like, next word is, oh, right? Cat. So I'm, I'm writing it down. I look, you say cat? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't really feel confident about it. Because, <laughs> you know, the C in the K. You just right? had a picture of a cat. You just had to spell it. But, mm. Bro, watching kids that spell words is the funniest <laughs> shit. <laughs> Courtney has <laughs> shown a lot of this, man. Uh, I seen one on the street. <laughs> ah. <laughs> See, he was, he was cheating on the first question. No. Yes. <laughs> cheating on all of them. If I got all the words right there, I'm not going to try. Even if he knew the answer, he was looking <laughs> Name. <laughs> to me, the town. <laughs> Hold up, hold up, hold up. That ain't my name. To me, I see you erasing. No! Fuck! Uh, uh, date. <laughs> January. What's the wait? One. Three, I cheated on the date, too? <laughs> All the paperwork. Who ain't shit, Tony? Every, everything had to be identical. <laughs> oh, my bad. Oh! Oh, man. They ain't hear nothing I just said. Oh, good. Oh, man. <laughs> this is it now. It's right by his right pocket. That's a fun Oh, 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 man. Yeah. Just snatched the shit off, man. Yeah. We gotta get some better tape. Welcome around. back to the 85 South Show. Yeah. Tony Baker in here tearing up shit, man. Tony the Baker. Tony the Baker. Oh, man. Kev, tell me about this studio game, man. Oh, man. You got your own studio and a Maserati, bro. Hey. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, bro. We, uh, you want to wait for Tony to come back? Or it's up to you. Man, low key, man, it was. Hold up, wait. Give us some, some different music. We can't do techno while we talk about black entrepreneurship. <laughs> he faded it out. All right. I just feel like I should be lining up some coke. So check me out the studio. <laughs> Am I hot? Are you guys hot? <laughs> Yeah, we got some, yeah, we're gonna get some. Oh, man! <laughs> nah, we was, um, the pandemic, we had an office, podcast studio, and then uh, Tony to here work with these dudes, they had the other uh, uh, bunker, which was like a small studio, and we started doing Keep Your Distance, because the pandemic. That shit was, been hot, too. Oh, man. Appreciate you being, creating a platform so comedians can get out there and still and be Atlanta active thing. and doing Man, mm -hmm. that Atlanta, Atlanta smack everybody from Atlanta came. Yeah. They, smack they was out there. Atlanta you know? ain't no hope. Atlanta ain't, ain't no hope. No people, hope. people from other cities be like, man, Atlanta ain't no hope. Ain't no hope. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we was, we had the opportunity to do the app and we was like, you know, written space, you know, bigger and stuff like that. So the one we had is like, you can only shoot one thing in there. So they shooting and you gotta break everything down, set it up, break everything down, set it up. So he's like, look, we, if we had more space, we could be more efficient. And because of the pandemic, like this whole warehouse, this whole like, the whole section, like seven out of the eight businesses was gone because of COVID. So they was like, man, we got dollar eighteen a square foot. And I was like, dollar eighteen? That ain't this. Mine was like three dollars, something like that. But they was just trying to get rid of it. So we we got that, and man. I ain't gonna hold you though. The, the turning that warehouse into a soundstage? Yeah. Woo! You talking about bread. It was like the lights, seven million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Soundproof, 18 billion dollars. Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't that much. <laughs> <laughs> All my shit would have just had an echo. <laughs> <laughs> that soundproofing is, is expensive. But yeah. no, nah, man, we was just like, yo, we get this podcast studio, the sound stage, we can shoot it. Other people can come shoot there. We can rent it out and stuff like that. And we can make our own stuff. Then we won't have to rent it. Because them location fees, man, it'd be, bro, location fees for a sound stage would be outrageous. Because that's our whole business model. It'd be $10,000 a day. Yeah. And studios would be like, bet. Especially that's if they're like in a trap. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all shot the BT Awards here, Andy. 
<laughs> See, now y'all the one with the location fee. Mm-mm. We didn't shoot the BET Awards here. We just made it look like we did. Oh, y'all wasn't here? You see how good this shit is? Why you step on my Oh, no, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> bro, everybody saw me. Don't tell me. Uh, yeah, it was obvious. No, the camera's not that long. The not that long. <laughs> they saw it. That was whatever. No. <laughs> 133 13. He stepped on Kevin's toe. All TV magic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We made it look like it. we did. It looked legit. Yeah. But anyway, why you keep looking at me like that? He already said it. He's, <laughs> it's no secret. No, he's looking at you. He's saying it like we ain't. I'm like, we would you ain't. stop stopping him? <laughs> He's stepping on your shoes. He put his shoe on your face. He was like, "Ooch, Nate, man." <laughs> He's looking at me. The loss is here. He can see you too. If I when you, up, he when you try to shut somebody down, you gotta be covert. Cool <laughs> he like, so he was, was like, he wasn't looking at me. He wasn't looking. I was trying to. I was trying to do it like this. I was trying to do it like, like this. It was so obvious. Bro, we took our own shit to the fucking BET Awards. The only shit that we couldn't do is use this picture of Marvin oh, Gaye because yeah. they don't know who painted that motherfucker. Really? They couldn't clear it. Yeah. We have no idea who painted it. <laughs> we don't even know if it's real or not. That, that viral video from that, man? That might be a one of one Oh, yeah, my Look God. how Marvin Gaye looking at oh, you. Oh, man. I got to get a Tony Baker voiceover <laughs> for this. <laughs> Marvin Gaye is clearly disappointed. Oh, man. <laughs> With everything that is He's like, y'all having a good time in there? <laughs> nah, I ain't feeling it. It's off, man. Because in my day, the Corolla was. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin Gaye behind you looking like Tony the Baker. You know what it is? He ain't no goddamn Baker. <laughs> Bake some bread now. <laughs> I went to his house in LA. Make a baguette. <laughs> Make it up right now. They always had the baguette in the grocery bag. Always, man. The baguette. But no, nah, man, we was just... Man, I, 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 I feel like it wasn't as... In my mind, it wasn't as, like, big as it became. But black people like, don't be on this shit out here. That's Out here? Out here? In the world. In the oh, world. Oh, yeah, yeah. But see, it, they own everything here. Yeah, here, for sure. But yeah. it was like, I was reading Ray Charles' biography, and he was like, I ain't buy a private plane to flex. I, I bought a, a private plane because... I could I could play thirty more shows a year if I didn't fly commercial. You know who he saw with a private plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, man. <laughs> Kevin didn't get it right away. I'm sure he saw plenty of. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't hit me immediately. <laughs> I'm sure he saw like you know uh, oh. <laughs> You're clever. You're happy. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Keith told me that joke. Keith Haddock. Haddock told me that joke. He was. Mm. But no, nah, man, we was just like, we'd be more efficient. Even though you have to call some bread up front, yeah. once you get it going, yeah. in the long run, it'd be more efficient. Now we like build a set in there. We, we actually got three sound stages next to each other. We bought the one next door uh, and made it like a storage unit. So we we, we, we did this Toby video. We built the set. That shit was that. hard. Yeah. You went in. And now we just paint that a different color. And now it's a living room. Don't, don't give them all the sauce. Because <laughs> <laughs> somebody was sitting at the house dumb as hell. That's how they did this shit. <laughs> Listen, man. I've been there's, something, the there's something strange about that Hollywood shit. <laughs> that make you think you one place. Yeah. <laughs> Switch it up on you. <laughs> what do you mean, switch it up? Right there in the studio. He did it with that motherfucker flip flop. Put a goddamn flip flop. That's one of my favorite parts of that movie. Oh my god. That shit so goddamn. Oh, right. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. That was good shit, man. I can't take it no more. Yes, man. you can, oh, man. Fuck it. Oh my god. You've been laughing man. all weekend. I ain't going to hold you. It's, Atlanta's good for the black soul. The energy. Oh, yeah. the, like, I feel, I, I came, it was like recharging my blackness. Like, yes. it was like just hobbling along, you know, because I had no shows in the South, so it was like no black people 
like that as far as like being everywhere. Mm -hmm. When you come here, man, it's just like. I miss the blacks. Oh, the blacks? Man. Well, that's ironic that you bring that up. They got a new Meet the Blacks coming out. They and there's black people in there. So y'all go watch that. Shout out to the, to the family. You got a sequel to that coming Got a lot of family in that movie. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's, it's a. I get, I get why everybody be like, I'm moving to Atlanta. That's gonna fix my problem. Because it's just like Atlanta wants you to move to That's Atlanta. That's what I'm saying. And then you see the price of the houses, and oh. they be like, like, bitch, we can buy two houses. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the price is coming from LA. They like, you paid what? Yeah. 17 houses for that price. Right, you move to Atlanta, and then you just get you a little LA spot. A yeah. little, little one bedroom. Exactly. Just to I mean, work out. That's all you need. But man, this city is just like, I got family here and stuff, but just like, we've been here for five, it's also I haven't been here that long in a while. Usually you just do your show, hotel yeah. venue, hotel, but since yeah. we ain't been performing, we've been riding around the city, meeting people, talking to people. When Atlanta black people just be like, like the village thing at the village. See, that's what I've been telling you. You know how you hit motherfuckers like, man, y'all need to come here. Y'all need to come mm -hmm. here. Like, bro, y'all have such a huge following and movement. And Atlanta fucks with all oh. types of creative people and entertainers. It don't matter what you do, man. It's just one of those places where people want to attach to you and, yeah. and, and see yeah. you move it's on energy, to the next right? level. It's, it's Hell community. Yeah. Everybody yeah. know. I feel like even our group of comedians, we ain't on the like, well, I'm better than him as much as previous generations. But the same thing happened in like, the, like artists and, and chefs and stuff. Everybody like, no, go here, hook you up. My guy got yeah. a thing. You can use my <clears throat> set, man, pull up on them. They it's the cross-networking and yeah. shit. Yeah, God is dope. This, you know what I'm saying? It's like all, all collective. Everybody yeah. wants to see everybody win. And then you go back to LA and it don't be, it right. don't be like, you don't Yeah, that's like because they got some evil white people out there. Like, how can we make it tough for these Negroes? <laughs> <laughs> Witness, what up? <laughs> Are they still paying twelve dollars at the improv? <laughs> Good. Let's take it to the tip. The yeah. improv. You know what? What if we? What if we paid them in food instead of money? Bruh. And Drink this is tickets. We'll get the money back. We'll make them pay to park. <laughs> Until these Negroes are smart enough to figure out that there are other places where they can thrive, we're going to strain the market. We're going to drain them dry. That's Cam real, on stage though. doesn't even know that there are places out there for $1.18 a square foot. <laughs> the longer we can keep this information from them, <laughs> the better. <laughs> we in there praising Atlanta. It's a motherfucker in Minnesota like, well, we got the shit for 66 cents a square foot. You want to build a black Hollywood? Minnesota is ready for black people. St. Paul is prime real estate. Hey, hey I got two words for you. St. <laughs> Paul. Paul. Did they walk off okay, on that? two more. Many. <laughs> Happiness. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Now. What if I continue with this? Pocket sausage. Oh, oh man. Okay, wait, then Utah steps up. Wait a minute, god damn it. Wait a minute. We'll do 46 cents a square foot and we'll legalize marijuana. <laughs> hey, you can keep your food stamps. <laughs> we'll even sweeten the deal with a Corolla. No. So Wyoming, do you have anything? <laughs> we'll clap. <laughs> 52 cents a square foot. <laughs> he went too far. It was like, no, no, no. 52 cents. Wyoming is out. Wyoming is out. <laughs> what if all the black people just decided that we was moving somewhere? Oh, we just man. picked a state nobody gave a fuck about it and yeah. just went there and thrived. Wyoming is the one. Man. Kanye was like, man, I'll, I'll go out oh, there. Oh, yeah, first. he is out there. We he gotta go there. somewhere. We can't go there. We gotta go. <laughs> Else. Anybody ever been to South Dakota? I just feel like South Dakota harder than North Dakota yeah. for some reason. I just yeah. feel like the North Dakota niggas is soft. There's a, a lot of meth in both of those, though. We're not going to yeah. smoke. No, they ain't got nothing to do with us. So if it's a lot of meth, I know the real estate prices is low. Yeah. Because you living next door to an old meth den. <laughs> Get a whole block. You stand next to though. Your shit's going to explode. You gotta, you exactly. Explode. You got to buy everything sight unseen. Like, we would come show it. But, uh, you know, we don't want <laughs> nothing to Sight unseen. Sight unseen. Sight unseen. They're closing doors, you know. Oh, God. Oh, <clears throat> oh man. Well, I don't know if there's anywhere else I would want to move, though, in the, in the... Oh, it's Atlanta for me. Yeah. That's the only other place I want to live. 
Yeah, I know. I feel like it'd be just. Let's move here, man. We're we're talking about. We, we just to, We just got the plug, man. We can do it remotely. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. Yeah, man. Man. LA is a long flight. To and y'all gonna make me move flight. by myself. Well, you ain't coming here, Tony. Man, I'm, I'm, my carpet dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Can't stress that enough. Man, that's what we got in Atlanta. It's oh, the shit called hardwood. <laughs> That's all Tony needs. That's all I want in my life, man. It don't look like this. This vinyl, but it, we, we could have a crazy house here. Oh, stupid. Man, that's all I want. And man. we got a deck. Of, we got a lot deck. of animals, too. Yeah. Uh, animals, like, creeps, right up my alley. Then you could, uh. And living in Georgia is good for your cat's allergies. <laughs> I got two cats, man. I got cats to think cats about. Cats gonna get you in your own animal videos. Uh, all right, you can man. film all your own animal videos. Yes. yes. Man, we got a zoo. We got a zoo. Hell yeah. He said that's the You think they point? wouldn't let you do a tour at the zoo? <laughs> <laughs> you can have a whole day where you just go from exhibit to exhibit and doing the voices of the animals. So yeah, they let you name, ain't gonna let me name the, the gorillas zoo. and shit. This is Gregory, the new baby <laughs> <laughs> gorilla. Just that. Gregory? Gregory? Gregory. <laughs> Gregory. <laughs> Gregory and Gerald. They be in there dapping it up strong. <laughs> you know, gorillas got solid dad. Bruh. They come in with that ashy hand. <laughs> Rip your whole arm loose. Damn, like, hey, man. <laughs> your arm be flimsy after that dab. Oh, stop. How you get so big? Hey, man, herbivore diet, man. <laughs> now we get swole out here. Oh, man. That would be dope. But, like, yeah, we would have to move everybody from the team down. Do it. Oh, I've been going Let's go. No, man. man I'm soft. People who people <laughs> always be like, when you just be talking about thinking about moving to Atlanta, people on Twitter be like, man, don't move here. We fool. We fool. We fool. Oh, we ain't not. Those nah, people, man. they're not even important. <laughs> Those people who say that, they don't live in Atlanta. They live in Douglasville, <laughs> Lothonia and shit. You rode through the city. Look at all them condos and shit. They Bro, put they them, them up everywhere. Yeah. You be like, this is a bad name. Hold up, this is a brand. This kind of just finished. Mm -hmm. right. They just put the address on here, forty two. Right. I don't live in Atlanta personally. Oh, but if I right, if I walk down the street, I'll be in Fulton County. That's all that matters. Yeah. So I can, who I can, really live in Atlanta though? Not nobody really. That's why I feel like I think a few like, players from the Falcons. Uh, <laughs> So all y'all on the outskirts. Well, yeah, Atlanta is really just a big ass circle. Like everybody who live in the middle, is pretty much Atlanta, and mm -hmm. then it's like. 250 cities around this motherfucker. It's everywhere. It's a lot. Man. But they like, say for you can go over two streets and be in another city. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like that. Yeah. And you can live in, <clears throat> you get land. Man. My father-in-law live out here, man. He live in, I mean, it's Covington. Yeah, I bought me some land. Walk outside naked anytime I want to. <laughs> That's, that's the goal. You ain't never heard nobody tell us that about me until you Big Nuts Mailbox. That's the combo. I want, I want an outside bathroom where I can smoke a cigar and just kick back in the bathroom if I want to. I can't be, do that. There'd be a possum in there with you. Hey, man. In the corner watching. You could do that in LA. It's just your neighbor's going to enjoy it too much. Taking another bath. <laughs> I was gonna come down the bath too, but it's so hot, you know. You finna move for real, Tom. Man, we well, looking at real estate. I should have never came here, dog. I'm out. You been looking on this? You leaving LA? Man, I'm tired of it, man. Bro, I just read some shit like LA. Just everybody leaving there. Yeah, I don't so need to be there no more. Hundred ninety thousand? You said? Yeah, Hundred ninety thousand people left. It's the lowest population they had since. Oh, that I mean it's in California, LA. LA. It's so low. LA holes out there. <laughs> I gotta come out there soon. <laughs> <laughs> How long did it take you to get here from the crib? From my crib, about 25 minutes. See, man. Easy work. So yeah, you wouldn't even see nowhere in LA. That's yet. a nice ride in the Maserati. Oh, in yeah. the Maserati, it would have been 20. Yeah. <laughs> Maserati is a hovercraft. Yeah. Don't you hover over the traffic in yeah, that joint? Yeah, we don't be in this. We it's like Doc Brown, when, you know, he dipped off and then came back. We don't Maserati, need the best thing about it, people always look. Mm -hmm. Your wife ever make you put it up like, ah, take the other car. <laughs> like you had <laughs> Maserati. I was like, yeah. <laughs> so it's, you I got leather gloves, gloves on. on <laughs> <laughs> leather gloves? All right, do me a favor. This is all I'm asking you to do. Take a ride in the Maserati, fingerless leather gloves. <laughs> That's it. Just send me a video. <laughs> they ain't want to see a black man doing this. Doing this. Yeah. <laughs> With the glove. Making a, a left-handed turn. <laughs> With the one hand on it. Yeah. yeah. Does she ever drive the Maserati? No. 
That's a good wife. You don't want to? Bro, you got a good wife. You got to keep her. That's a good woman. I don't know. She she be like, I got my car, my little Honda. Mm -hmm. Any woman that won't drive the Maserati, keep her. Mm -hmm. I actually never thought about that. Man, She's better. selfless, bro. Yeah. All she care about is her kids and the family's happiness. She good yeah. with this whip right here. Right. Mm -hmm. She don't be wanting to flex or nothing. You got to get you some shit that you like that your wife don't like. Yeah. You know he be in that little truck. <laughs> the little truck? I got he got a truck, too. He got a pickup pick truck. truck bro, yeah. Yeah. Can't be pulling up in the pickup truck. Nothing in the back. Nothing. <laughs> no <laughs> lumber, no, no, no paint, no nothing. We don't have to carry a truck for that. I just told my family this ain't that kind of truck. <laughs> Ain't you know, nothing in the back. I'm riding around like an old black man that retired from the military. <laughs> I'm not moving shit in this truck. He ain't truck. got nothing back, back there. The truck. Like, oh, nigga, I was just about to, I'm about to move right now. Yeah, go down I was moving the shit they got in my move. truck and got the nerve to have a bed line in there. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing going back. Man, I wish we had the space to move it around, man. My, I'm sorry The bed you. of my truck is so useless, I got a bed cover. We, I make sure people don't ask me to move. God damn. You got anything electric? What you mean? Like a oh. scooter? <laughs> or a car? Oh. I wouldn't buy no fucking electric car. What if no. I change my mind and want to go somewhere else? <laughs> you got a crib. Put a charger up at the crib. What if I'm not at the crib? They got charger stations around the city. Did you know that I'm from Mississippi? <laughs> and the closest charger station is two hours away? You think I haven't researched this? <laughs> you know, you ain't I can't, be, now. can't drive that shit home and be the only motherfucker in Mississippi. Hey, y'all got a Tesla charger? <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you might as well lay down. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna have to charge your little car in the morning. I would plug it up here, but you're not gonna run my light bill up. Man, that's no, Lord, I don't know how y'all do it in Atlanta. But you not gonna run my light bill up with that damn That's car. You plugging the car up to the house? Mm -hmm. Boy, is you crazy? You pull up to the gas station in Mississippi, they chewing tobacco. <laughs> you got a Tesla charger? What the fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> Excuse me, boy. You got Tesla. You got the Tesla right here. <laughs> what that even mean? We got hey, crosses listen, burning man. in the back. We're Americans, boy. <laughs> boy. <laughs> the hard boy. Boy. No, I'll charge you up right now. Huh? Cat want to know how you started your voiceovers. Uh, I saw this video of this goat in Brazil. This is like 2013. He was just harassing these people, man. They was out living life. Oh. They was on the motorcycle. He was like, yeah. He was, he was ramming them up. They was like, hey. And then he, he had scooted on down, and then there was this lady with the groceries. And then he was trying to... He was trying to just come up. What you got in the bag? She was like, go on somewhere. He read back, crammed her down. <laughs> then this dude tried to come in and help, and he was like, who you helping, man? Captain Sable, whole ass nigga. He was chasing, chasing him down. He was just on it. So the dude was running around the tree. So that was the first video I did. And then uh, I did the raccoons. Oh, the raccoon. Raccoon one. eating the cat's food. Oh, man. And he was just in there like, yeah, it looked like he was talking to the cat. Man, y'all don't be getting in on this, man. Come on, man. Hey, man, it's so fucked up because I don't even want to see no animals without the Tony Baker voice on. <laughs> like, anytime I see something, Carlos be sending like, me videos. Hell, I send this nigga like two videos a day. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck what it is. Nigga, you need to see this shit. <laughs> I be firing these videos off the mm. tone all the time. Send Tony videos Baker. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Look at who you came to see. We the dog. You was in the studio doing that. We the dog. You better holding this. Do we are the world? We the dog. You better. How that sound? Wait, re loop it back. Give me something on the back, on the top. They just be saying shit in the studio. Wait, loop that back and then make it hot on the, eye, Man, the high have end. Have you seen this documentary about this fucking humanoid chimpanzee? Mm. Oh, Oliver? Nah. I might just send you the link. It's the craziest shit ever, man. This nigga used to just walk around smoking cigarettes and <laughs> cigars and shit. He had a ball, like, he, he had no hair on his face. Like, they thought he was mixed with a human. What? Pull it up, Ryan. They think I'm bullshitting. Cue it up. Oliver, the chimpanzee. It's the craziest shit ever. But he a chimp. He, he bald? Like, like, that's the one that used to smoke cigarettes? Yeah, remember, they, they had to, like, get rid of him because he kept trying to fuck that lady. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oliver, yeah, man, we yeah. take care of him. Wait till you see this shit. <laughs> Oliver, Oliver looking at her when she come in? Yeah. <laughs> That's what you wore today? How you doing, Doris? Yeah. You all right? Yeah. You, you popular at work, huh? 
Yeah. I see you out here. Oh, he got no it. bottoms on, sitting wide. <laughs> see what it is out here. He got here. some little overalls on, but it's yeah. monkey nuts. It's <laughs> <on> the <side. laughs> they big and they big and pink too. Like yeah, man. You ever think about primates? You ever think about it? You ever been with a primate? Yeah, we primal in that sack. Goddamn Tony and David Attenborough. Them the funniest <laughs> animal niggas. That nigga from the Netflix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The thing with the little freeze. <laughs> Stay tuned, find cover soon. I'll be like, You got that voice, man. Yeah. Make you invested right from the jump. Research department, you found that shit? You suck, bro. He was looking up. He was looking up anaconda hearts. Like, Just anaconda. <laughs> it's on YouTube. Anaconda YouTube. heart. For yes. my next trip, I gotta, I gotta step it up now. Everybody done seen that. I gotta go bigger now. He, he had two snake hearts in his hand. They know about our ritual. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you tell them about our ritual. What He's you been doing in your, uh, your free time, Los? What you kick back to do? What's, what's your ideal vacation or ideal off time situation? I'll be trying to find an ideal vacation spot. I don't know yet. I need to go somewhere that they have nice views and some good weed. Like, that's the only shit that I really be wanting to do. Mm -hmm. Be wanting to get high enough to forget the lows. <laughs> now, I do a lot of shit in my all time. I got a son, you know, I travel, I go home, and go in the woods and do all kinds of country nigga shit. You don't got to be hunting to be in the woods. I just love you. I don't know what else you can do out there. Yeah. A lot of shit to do. Like what? A lot of shit. Okay, I, I'm just leaving alone. A lot right? of shit. All right. We did it time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to be hunting to be in the woods. Sometimes you just be in the woods. Man. Just be you know, doing shit. Creek and stuff. <laughs> Making moonshine <laughs> and things to like that. To hear me in the woods with hard bottoms on. <laughs> I don't usually be around here. <laughs> <laughs> you got slacks on. <laughs> These the woods are hurting so much about <laughs> <laughs> See you in the woods with hard bottoms. With hard bottoms? Man, Why I you got hard bottoms on? Yeah, you by the creek. Camping, man. I, I need, I need some more shit. Go I, slide. I, 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 Slipping over the, over the, he trying to get over the log. <laughs> He's trying to grab a branch. <laughs> We used to be in the woods, man. You got the campfire shit. You think you're going to really be cooking some, you going to reheat some quick trip hot dogs. I did I got these hot dogs. Y'all want some pizza? Oh, my God, man. I can't take it. Still in the box? Y'all want to get some sticks? Get some sticks. Oh, snap. My head hurt, man. It's too much laughing for one person. Bro, you've been talking so much shit in here, man. Bro, it's good for your soul. It man. is, dog. I'm recharged. Bro, I'm moving to Atlanta, man. Look at Nah, man, we got to shoot Tuesday. <laughs> I'll, come, I'll come up every week. You ain't. Atlanta is not a place you're just going to be flying yeah, back. Yeah, man. Delta. Not five hours, Tom. Delta, man, you know. Bags fly free. That's five every time. That, that, that's easy work, man. That ain't easy. Put a little movie on, catch the red eye, go to sleep. sleeping pill. I don't never sleep on planes. You don't have I, no sleeping pills. No, I don't. <laughs> they sell them at the airport. I don't want to start getting hooked on sleeping really? pills, though. That's what I'm scared of. Nonstop? Commute, yeah. See? You commute to Los Angeles? Like, I, yeah, I was going two, three times a week. See? It can be done. B also eats snake heart. <laughs> He drinks it like V8. Hey, man. Tony ain't gonna fly. He ain't gonna commute like that. You man, know, I don't know nothing about this. You old and angry. You'll go to the airport and can't don't fly. Don't let them keep calling you old, man. Nah, Los, you ain't been You ain't been, you ain't traveling. Everything bothered Tone now. Ah. He be, he over here listening to the music all loud. Well, it was loud, Ken. <laughs> Listen, this like, is why I said it was loud, because Tahir was trying to talk to us. And Karen was, they were talking. And so every time he would say a sentence, he would turn the music back up and he would have to turn it back down. Just, just leave it down. Some shit is just louder, Karen. Don't nobody want to doze your cat all the time. <laughs> <laughs> just because you don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> well, listen, listen. He, he's situational because today we were coming here and music loud and then Tony trying to have a whole conversation with us. It was like, turn the music down, old nigga. That's the one thing you're about getting older. But it was outcast. Your hearing gets better as you get older, bro. That's why I stopped going to the club, because I was the only nigga in there like, why the music so goddamn loud? <laughs> <laughs> How we gonna talk to these older niggas? Yeah, man. You got, some, you got a 
nice setup, young man. Just turn that motherfucker down. <laughs> turn it down about two. Just two. <laughs> just two nights. Just two, man. Because the shit yeah. set up. The way you got the shit set up is good. <laughs> it's just too goddamn loud, young man. I'm trying to prove it to you. That's all I'm saying, man. Just two. Just two. Just two, man. What, you ain't gotta what, turn all the way down. I ain't being ridiculous about it. That's it. Just, just two little slides. Yeah. <laughs> two little slides. That's all to hear had to do. Shut up, Tony. You would have found something else to complain about. I mean, you know, y'all be complaining. Well, I don't be complaining, Tony. That be you. Tony, you look, Tony get in the car and don't close the door. Then the thing going off, like, Tony, close the door. Hey, man, don't tell me what to do. And it's always your door. I'll be closing it, man. You always got to do something else. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I guess I just relate. I'm at that phase of my life. He go, he loves him. Take I'm our one of those niggas. I might just sit down and just be thinking for a second. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, can you close the door? We have that shit loud. I ain't heard a motherfucking thing. <laughs> the bitch was in the house with the nigga. <laughs> Bro, what did you talk about? <laughs> See, you young ass don't know shit. <laughs> Just think life is out here full of damn fun and game. Bro, you, we out here laughing and, and, and she, she fucking in the house. <laughs> Hey man, leave that nigga alone, bro. <laughs> you don't know what he got going on. I just lost the slam on the brakes at the green light. <laughs> and another thing, when I they came up, say I won't, say I won't, say I won't, say I won't break motherfucking neck. Give both of us right now. Right here, right now, at the green light. I ain't afraid to die. In the Corolla. <laughs> In the 1998 Saturn. It's what they don't never, they don't never leave this part in. When she be like, well, just pull over and let me drive my car. <laughs> oh, oh. You know it's her. It's her, is it her name? Oh, that's when it's hard hitting right oh, there. That's, that's the trigger pull that's right the, there. God. Oh my God, man. That's oh. the fucked up part about it, though, man. When you grow up, when you become a grown man and you look back at all the shit, like, I know it's some women that didn't get the best version of me. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But I wonder if they really liked me. Think of all the women who fucked me when I ain't have no car. <laughs> now they see you on Instagram like, oh, now he got a yeah, fleet. Yeah, he got a fleet now. He, got, oh, nigga, he, he can't, can't keep track. Out. Nigga can't stop mine. Oh, he was in Austin. I remember oh, one time oh. I moved into a new apartment and somebody came and gave me some pussy on the floor. Not even on the air mattress. Just, just on, on the, the raw floor? floor? Just on the floor. Hardwood? You need to go back and find yeah, that marriage. No, on the carpet. Oh, the carpet. Okay. Georgia. Oh, they, Georgia don't give you no life switch, uh, fixtures when you move in an apartment, though. That's how California is. Yeah. Yeah. You got to bring a lamp. Yeah. She saw the guy to you. She saw what you could be. So <laughs> the the pillow. We just fucked on the neck. Back it straight. Y'all knees was ashy. Y'all didn't prop yourself up? No, nah, my knees was done. Right, rug man. burn. It was rug burn, burn city. Raw knees, my boy. Yeah, raw knees it after that. It was a nice apartment, so the carpet had a little play in it, so I never could really find no grip, so I burnt two little spots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Knees. You know that no you know carpet right? that bunch up with you. Yeah, Knees <laughs> <laughs> was raw, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Couldn't really find no traction. <laughs> that's what you that's how you thinking about it. Like, man, I really can't really get into this kind of good like I, <laughs> like, like I usually be. <laughs> My car ain't had no play in it. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> what? It shit. Oh. It kept bunching up. Bro. Oh. It was loose. The carpet was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not okay. Yeah. Okay. On the floor. No whip. Can't win them all. No whip. No whip. No pillow. Bro. No furniture. Were you just moved in? I think I was just at a point in my life where everything just had failed. That's why I don't respect a lot of niggas. If you ain't never lost everything and got it back, you ain't gonna get, you ain't gonna understand all this shit I've been through. That's what, when I, man, when I first got to LA, they was beating me out of deals left and right. Nigga. And I was like, well, y'all are good at this. I looked back at my head to come up and I was like, nigga, I, I damn this, I feel like a, a explosion survivor. <laughs> Cause one day I just was walking away and everything I had was behind me. <laughs> I have nothing but these laughs. <laughs> Uh, I did a, a deal I'll never forget, man. They gave me, I was an idiot. I signed the first version of the contract. Damn. They was like, here, I was like, Kevin. <laughs> That's me. Full no name. Yes. What? You can't make no YouTube videos on your channel? Fine. <laughs> we getting 50 grand. <laughs> I went down there, everybody else was like, you can't do nothing. You can't do what? They gave us double the money. They were, I sold them old videos. I was like, whew. Oh. So y'all, you can go back and forth with the lawyers then? I didn't, I thought they was kind of like taking a leave. That's like, 
Nobody expects you to sign the first one. I was like, oh, okay, all right, oh, yeah. You didn't okay. negotiate shit? Los. They sent an email, printed it out. At my job. I was at Boeing. Went and printed out the work computer. See you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> Even the motherfuckers at Boeing was like, he should have shot. See, that's sorry, they quit. No DocuSign. You could have asked somebody at Boeing. No DocuSign. I had a feather pin. <laughs> a feather pin. <laughs> <laughs> I had a quill and scroll. Oh, man. Dearly <laughs> beloved, we are moving post haste from time. Come on, on stage. <laughs> I agree to the terms of the deal. <laughs> Send the money expeditiously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they beat me so bad. Oh. Oh. The motherfucker oh. who sent it couldn't believe it. He signed that shit? <laughs> Bro. No one ever signed the first thing. That's what they were looking at with the president. Oh, y'all ain't gonna believe this shit over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, look at this. The white man he brought the paperwork to was like, Aaron, you're a genius. <laughs> Aaron? You remind me of my old self. Oh, my Chip God. off the old block. Oh, God. See who, up. See who else you can get. <laughs> And all the pocket sauces you get. <laughs> the lead forward. All the pocket sauces. All the pocket sauces. <laughs> you can <have> <laughs> Morning store, you say? Oh. Uh, <laughs> no. Any time of day. Morning store. If you don't come out with some pocket sauces, you don't feel you me. At man. least on a parody tip. Come bro. on, man. At least on a parody Just drop tip. some shit at 3 in the morning and, and leave it It's already been hours. written. Just this nigga cooking sauce. Not saying shit. <laughs> just looking at the camera. <laughs> One tip <tier> show. <laughs> <laughs> then the nigga just grab them both out of the hand and just get done. <laughs> We wake up the next morning, that shit is gone. No. Have you seen this camo stage sauce and shit? Nigga, yeah, it's called pocket sauce. It's for niggas no. on the go. No. <laughs> for, for niggas on the go? <laughs> Hold up, where the fuck did Ryan go? Uh, Let me see the laptop. Mm. I gotta show this nigga that chimpanzee oh, shit. Oh, the chimp. You think this is right? You think this is a game? He really don't want to get the dick, get this footage to go. <laughs> I think he's scared of it. Like, bro, don't like, show like, nobody like, else this shit. <laughs> This shit Oliver, <laughs> the humanoid chimpanzee. What did he do? His name is Oliver. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh my God, dog! I can't keep laughing like this, man. <laughs> it hurts so good. Let's move here, man. My wife said no. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Then the truth comes out. I asked her on that's Friday. Oh, you asked? Her? I texted her like, man, let's move. Why she you say can move? move. Yeah. <laughs> 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 You know I can't come up with this shit. You know, with the you can move? Stuff. Nigga, I'm so used to being kids. on the phone. I'm over here like, why this shit ain't moving? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This is it. You see that third link right there? Oliver the Human Z? Look at his face, bro. <laughs> Don't that motherfucker look like He look like Ross Perot. <laughs> <laughs> well, he got some ears on me, though. Yo, he yeah. out here. So he old. He dead. Now. Yeah, you got to check that shit out, man. This is I wasn't expecting black and like white footage. One of the craziest fucking documentaries. He's on the plane. Out. Yo, he getting on bro, the plane. Bro, this nigga was on the plane. <laughs> why they got, he, why he they got Pablo Escobar he footage walked, with this? He only walked on two legs, bro. He I, never got down? Never. I wish I would put my bro, hands they, on the ground. They tried what to make him walk like a monkey. This nigga look like. <laughs> <laughs> man, what the fuck do that? He's talking about you doing a bad man. Who the fuck you talking to, Flippo? Nigga, you keep the bananas and all that mush food to your motherfucker. Hold on, hold on, Blurry. What? What? <laughs> man, you put that shit around my neck, man. Let me walk like a man, bro. I don't do all that. Yo, look how he look, bro. I told you, man. Listen, you gotta he he bald. He got the receding hairline. How much weed you had smoked when you stumbled across this shit? Nigga, when I saw it, it scared the shit out of me. Cause they <laughs> look at him. Cause they showed, him around, they showed him around. They showed him around some other muggies, and he reacted the way we would react <laughs> if you put us in a cage full of muggies. He was like, yo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I got <laughs> pants on, man. man. Niggas not like us. <laughs> you saw him walking on the other side. <laughs> he was like, I got pants on. Get me out of here. Bro. I got Wranglers on right here. 
That would be up to three o'clock. Yo, oh, this is the man. Man. There's part one of six. Please no. watch <laughs> this fucking documentary. To all the people who are wondering what we watch, watching, Bruh. it's called Oliver the Human Z. <laughs> Skip this. Go to this shit right here. Look at this. Look, look at they the got pictures of this nigga look in high school and he shit. He looks like a killer, though. <laughs> look, he's showing his grill and everything. Man, if he had on some glasses. Yo, he looked crazy, he though. He did. Oh, it looked like he'd kill you at a dice game. What monkey don't? All, all chimpanzees look like No, nah, but he look fans. extra crazy, dog. <laughs> It look like he got a British accent and can fight bare knuckles. Watch how this nigga walk down these fucking steps. Look at this. I'm telling you. This is this the Pablo Escobar footage right yeah. here. Yeah. He was making $15 million a month. This nigga was sitting on the airplane just chilling. He kicked up. Bro, look at him. Yo, he seat. on a regular seat. He eating a hamburger with a soda. He ain't come for plus. What you doing? He telling her what he wants. He want. like, like bring, bring, bring me one of them. Like, like no pickles on that burger. <laughs> he he <laughs> in the exit row. You got to be able to say yes <laughs> to get the exit row. He was like, yes. Nigga, I'll mean, do it. it. I'll open the hatch. <laughs> he got a seat on. Yeah. He's smoking a cigar. <laughs> Yo, he watching TV. <laughs> Yo, yeah. he really out here doing it. He taking off the hospital gown. <laughs> Bruh, this is, this is, and this is old footage. That's crazy. This ain't even no CGI. Yeah, they did a whole study trying to figure out why he walked standing up like that. He yeah. well, I do whatever y'all do. Y'all do this, I do this. You walk but the like crazy part is you can sit there and talk to him and he would do the shit. Bruh. That's why. Like the lady used to say. Some, somebody well, no. snuck in the zoo and fucked with your man's eat They night. didn't sneak. They got footage of that too. We just can't watch it on the regular internet, probably. Oh damn! Oh. Yo, he got hoop shorts on. Yo, he's scary looking though in the face. Yeah. I'm gonna check that shit out though. Check that shit out, man. Y'all, everybody already follow y'all, man. But drop the social media links, man. Don't let this be the last time y'all stop through here. Oh, we pulling up. No problem with me. I'm moving out. We here, gonna so. be here. We got our own spot too. This right. is, we, we ain't been telling nobody. All right, man. This, yeah, we can ready to switch traps. Switch traps? Switch traps? Why yeah. you keep looking up, though? What's up? Because I'm trying to make sure we're making the right decision. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we could have just invested a few dollars. <laughs> you know, like when you're trying to leave your grandma house? Y'all ain't got to go nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm saying. It's about that time, bro. <laughs> you ain't got to run out. <laughs> you know, I got to get up early to drop the kids off. They got school in the morning, so I, you know. I mean, I would stay, you know, and she working overnight, so she get off, she be tired, so I'm going yeah. She's still down there, over there, accounts receivable? Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm over there, but you know, I'm, listen, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, though, all right? Wait, did you I tell you? You still working down there, pocket sausage? Oh, come yeah. on. <laughs> I mean, it's still a sausage. We got a new rollout plan for been called him. back 15 times. You still want to down there at pocket sauce? Yeah, yeah, on, you know, man. Made him, made me The pocket sauce. We're in the back pocket now. We, we kind of tapped out on the front pocket stuff. So we tried to convince people. Oh, man. Back. We got to give a shout out to your boys, man. You, your son is funny as hell. Oh, appreciate it. Oh, man. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's how we got that. still doing movie. comedy? Nah, he retired. Damn, he was early. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> He didn't want to work out like that no more. <laughs> he was like, I don't want to do these jokes with this puberty shit, man. It got me cranky. Oh, you talking about younger son, JoJo? Yeah. Oh, no, we still got the podcast? I know he got the podcast. What is Zay Zay doing comedy? Bro, Zay Zay ain't doing Zay that. out, man. Zay Zay don't even talk. He'll come back around. He texted me since Tuesday. <laughs> really? Bro. You, you been hitting him? I be like, hey, man, man, stop. I feel like I see him put the phone down. You know what's funny about your text? He on his phone. Yeah! Your text come in, he be like... He don't even open it. Swipe, 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 just swipe it back up. <laughs> swipe the banner back up. He on FaceTime with a little yeah. cutie. He swiped that up Shit. quick. <laughs> He was, was screen that? recording something he was going to send to his girl, man. and dad can I love you, son. Man, look out. <laughs> I got to start the screen record over, because he's texting me, That's he love me. That's why you don't respond, because you got to start that screen record. Yeah. Fuck the TikTok up. <laughs> why you keep calling? He was screen yeah. recording. He's showing his brother, bro, your daddy keep calling me, bro. And that's your daddy, too, though. <laughs> he was like, oh, I never respond to him myself. Oh, oh, I guess I'm going to have to turn my phone, do not disturb the fans. <laughs> Yeah. Now, if I block them, I'm wrong, right? If I block that, I'm wrong. Sons is cold pieces, Bro, man. It's a cold piece, yeah, man. man. Well, I'm to hear more, man. You can find me uh, at to hear more, T A H I R M O O R E, on everything. 
Uh, Jump, what's your, your name of your show? Huh? Your show. Uh, check out Word is Hard, uh, my YouTube page, as well as Zooming with the Homies. And more to the story and damn it, and that's just scary. Hey, you got a lot going on to here. I do. Yeah, man. a list of stuff. Man, he was like, you know, the wording is hard, zooming yeah. with the homies, damn it, and that's just scary. Pocket sausage. Pocket sausage, you know what I'm saying? He's yeah, the man. manager for pocket sausage, you know what I'm yeah. saying? He run the social media. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck Oscar Mayer. We coming for that. <laughs> Sausage from niggas on the go. Kevin on stage, uh, Kevin on stage <laughs> on everything. <laughs> Uh, get the Kev on Stage Studios app. We got all kinds of shows on there. Tony got a new show coming out. Yeah, man. Uh, on the app. This what show? Up. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a voiceover show. Yeah, man, Can we say it? We own it, Tony. Yeah, I'm gonna do a voiceover show for Kev on Stage Studios app. We gotta look around and approve it for. Oh, we own it. Yeah. I want in. It's gonna be lit. Come I want to be on there. Come on. <laughs> what we voicing over? Animal videos. Y'all, animals, uh, videos, you know what I'm saying? The I got, commentary. I got some, I got some voices that ain't bust out yet. <laughs> Yo, he, he got the voices, He though. knew, man. Yeah. That joke you did. Oh. He be pulling they up. They was moving in. They kept so. <laughs> <laughs> he was on Big Crit album, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he was, was on Big Crit album with the, with the I feel like with if the people like, hey, was that you? <laughs> then I ain't do the shit right. I don't, <laughs> don't want to be out here just using my regular voice and niggas like, hey, man, that it sound like color. <laughs> 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 it's the same shit from that Big Crit album. <laughs> hey, man, you need some more voices, man. You know who you got to get in with? Tony the big <laughs> Now you a nerd. Nah, nah, hey, he be singing with he, the dust. He's a motherfucker. Flip this shit. Flip that. Give me the goddamn flip that. <laughs> hey, man, so this so shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Spectrum still paying, y'all. Spectrum still paying. All right, I was about but to also, say, people if they not, fuck it. No, no, they can't. <laughs> but we can't. If your Wi-Fi go out, bro, we can't. Yeah, yeah we can't we help you with the Wi-Fi. Home. We don't work for Spectrum. We don't have no ability to fix it personally. But we uh, we got a Spectrum commercial shoot in the next 26. two weeks. 26 is going to the team. This one is, uh, to hear is, is a is the lead of this one. So mm -hmm. I, I think it was about two years ago now I got the first one, and then it was me and Belief, and then soon after that it was like, come back again. He was like, man, get Tony in there. We got to hear in there, and then, oh, hey, hold on, let me tell you. No, right. Tell her, you, you, let me tell you, you want to hear, you. I ain't never been phased out of a, a commercial so hard in my goddamn life. It was Tony's commercial, right? Mm -hmm. Tony's standing up. Tony's doing like this. Yeah, guys, this shit's crazy. Cam and Melissa come back, right? They come back on vacation. Like, Tony, what are you doing in that house, right? Now, I'm supposed to dap Tony up before they walk in, right? So we do a couple takes. All right, yeah, he scored, right? And it was like, hey, right, Tim, let's, let's lose the dap. All right, cool, shit, I'm still in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. Boom. No dap. Like, yeah, he scored, right? Then, all right, Tim, let's just keep your hands. Let's just keep your hands down. It just look like. <laughs> Did it come off again? The mic came off again? Hey man, they was trying to get your ass up out of there. Man, when you celebrate, don't bring your hands up. We want to change your shirt because it's flashing on camera, and then we have to go to change that. No, no, no. Let me tell you this, nigga. So, so, so they was like, eventually they just said this. They just said, Tim, let's uh, let's just get you out. Let's just get you out of the commercial. No, they ain't, let him fix the mic. He ain't telling it right. <laughs> it was way slower than that. It was like, lose the dap up, but be excited with your hands. He's like, all right. It was like, all right, close your fingers, because you had them up. Just keep it in a fist. He's like, all right, all right, so like, okay. Then you know what, just kind of smile and, and do this, but don't, don't raise your head. He's like, all right. Feels like, actually, man, for this next one, just sit down. <laughs> Just sit down real quick. Right? Don't, you know what I'm saying, but feel excited. You know what I'm saying? Feel excited? Nigga. And then they was like, no, nah, hold on. <laughs> and they was like, could you just scoop, scoop? We just want to get the bit. shot dirty. We're going to get you dirty. Just a little shoulder in there. And then they was like, you know what? We just want to get one clean. <laughs> just go to the end of the bitch. Because sometimes they want to get a clean shot. So right. they're going to put the dirty in the close-up, right? So like when they say they want to get the dirty, I try to do this. Get my ear there. Oh, so, man. I see my freckles on my ear, right? So they get a clean one, right? So I'm like, all right, cool. They like, you know what's in here? Let's just see how it feels with you standing over here. And then when you step off set, they like, that's a rap on set. Oh, man. No, 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 that's not even <laughs> worse. Listen, so they like, worse. all right, let's, let's lose to here. So I'm standing over to the side, I'm over here. I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna go grab me something to eat. And it's like, let's go, let's go grab to here. 
Ted, um, we don't want you in the commercial, but we want you around just so we can have the essence of your presence. We want to feel your presence, but not see you. Uh, I'm not even no set, my nigga. I'm back there just like. We ain't seen to hear since. <laughs> This is the first time. This is the first time we see them. Commercial is an ass. They ran you all around. Hey, Tia, go sit in your car. <laughs> but don't turn the music on. No. Nah. Because we want to be able to feel like you still so, hear us. Yeah, it's yeah. your radiate. To here, drive to the end of the block. <laughs> Leave your lights on, but turn the engine off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we cooking. To here, go home, but don't turn the lights on. FaceTime. You sit in the dark. When you get to the house. <laughs> <laughs> to here, book a flight to East St. Louis. <laughs> Go to that abandoned house you grew up in and just sit. We'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> to here, I knew he was mad. Cause he's like, let's take, let's turn around. He was like, I'm still getting paid, so don't get mad at me. I'm still getting paid. The check was the same. The check gonna clear the same. The check me. I can be the same. I can be the star. I'm still getting paid. Oh, I was hot though. Oh. Oh. I was hot, so when they called me for the oh. next emergency, I was like, listen, if you're gonna cut me out, this bitch cut me now. Oh. Cut me now. And that's they when they, they, they got him back on. They was like, we didn't cut you. We didn't cut you. We actually used all of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not in America. It's in our <laughs> <laughs> You killing it, New Zealand. Uh, New Zealand, he all up in that thing. He's on the flight of New Zealand. Check uh, it out. He, he's the lead in the commercial in New Zealand. He's like, look, we got Spectrum. something else for you that you don't need to physically be there for. Oh my God. But just know, man, you're killing me. Oh my God. This next, this next one is going to be more, mostly voiceover because we got plenty of stock footage we can use. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. That shit was that shit was humbling. Right? So you That's start. Why gas the cool. They starring oh, you the starring in this. So this one he yeah. yeah, We see the creators. You don't like see what they was doing. What? They was trying to save you, bro. Yeah. Uh, for later on. They wanted yeah. you to be at the heart of it. They wanted yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. to star. Right. They wanted you to have a big debut. That's it. <laughs> I said my they name. They didn't want you to be like. You, oh, you about you to be like the Kanye West commercial. Kanye West was just producing the beats. That was you producing the ambiance in the background. Then you had a feature. In video village was like to hear he's he's not ready yet he's over he's i don't know how to say this he's uh he's blocking tony that's basically what it, <laughs> it doesn't matter where we put this guy the wide back man. the wide yeah. back he's wide though this guy's a bona fide star <laughs> and i'm still trying to figure out how i can use him it's just it's not, not right here. it's not, not, here. not here not, not here use your presence was not tough. here that one that one we was, was all on set Use your presence. We just need your, and the director, would, the worst part is, the director would say it from Video Village to the assistant director, but you could hear the director. If you have to hear, just step outside. To hear, we could have you just step I heard it, I heard it when I he thought, said it. I heard it. If it make you feel any better, they got me like that one time. I had a fucking audition for this movie. So you know how you go in and you read the shit and they be like, yeah, just do the lines. And then you do the lines and then they're like, all right, let's see you do one. Yeah, yeah. How you would do it. Mm -hmm. I do the shit like I would do it. And they like, I fucking love that shit. You stay, cause we're gonna do some more at like two o'clock. That's in about an hour. So you just stay and then it'll be like the, the callback. So you don't get, I was like, okay, bet. I go in for the second part of the audition. They didn't change the script to the shit I said yep. in oh. the first line. Yep. So I see this, I'm like, Nick. I don't need it. I got this. I know what I said. <laughs> Nigga, get to the movie. Same shit. Oh. oh. What you said in the audition was in the movie? But you wasn't in the movie? That's a cold A white game. man. Oh. They just said a I did, white man? I did the same thing. I went to an audition. I knew I killed it. They called me for a call back a week later. They was like, man, everything you did was amazing. We want to we see you do that again, and then we want to give you some other characters just to cold read to see how you were doing. So I'm like, oh, nigga, I'm fucking it up. <laughs> I got a little bag, bitch, right? <laughs> <laughs> Call me Wallet, right? So I do everything they ask me to do. Oh, we love it. I see them taking notes to the directors there, the producers there, and the casting directors. I'm like, oh, nigga, yes. When we start, they was like, thanks for coming in, man. They used all my ideas for four characters didn't book me for one. Wow. Four, nigga. <laughs> I had a callback audition with this white superstar. 
I knew the shit was gonna get picked up because he was on it. It was just me and him. And we was in the fucking studio recording scenes all day. And he was like, you're fucking perfect for this shit. They gotta pick you. I'm gonna tell them to pick you. Never heard back from the oh, yeah. wow. I'm talking about I was with this bitch all day. <laughs> <laughs> we just running shit. I'm like, they gonna use all this. Mm -hmm. They gonna use all this. Cause why they wanna see me get this dynamic with the star? Yeah. <laughs> Hollywood, man. Mr. Tony Bowman. was in, uh, what was it? Whiplash. Whiplash. One of my favorite movies. Cut me smooth out there, brother. You never seen Whiplash? I had lines and everything. Movie, where the, drum, the drum teacher really mean to the drummer. J.K. Yo. Simmons was in it. You gotta Oscar see for. how J.K. Simmons, first of all, fucking amazing actor, but in that movie, that nigga's different. They kept, tell him to him. Oh, Whiplash. man, I was in there, I had lines. I was like, yeah, such and such and such and such. Hmm? Yeah. The director hit me up right before the premiere. He's like, hey, Tom, man, sorry, but uh, we had to cut your scene because it just didn't really flow with it. I was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Cool, cool. You know, and I didn't know what it was going to become. I was like, all right, that movie ain't going to do nothing no way. <laughs> cut to <laughs> Academy Awards, Best Picture nominee, <laughs> J.K. Simmons. I'm like, I was standing behind J.K. Simmons. <laughs> so now all you see is my silhouette in the movie in the back. I do this. <laughs> Man, I had us, lines with the lead. They be giving us some raw ass. What did you do this for? Because I, I was letting them know it, it was man. showtime. Oh. And then J.K. Simmons looked back at me like, all right, man, shut up, black man. <laughs> the, the thing is, you can tell in the silhouette that it's Tony. Like, it's yeah. clearly Tony. <laughs> like, I did that, though. I was like. <laughs> I got that. Oh, much. man. They were like, whoa. That guy right there in the back, the silhouette. <laughs> the Oscar nominee right there, man. Woo! They be fucking us up. Man beckoning? Oh my god. <laughs> that was the role? Man beckoning? That's it. <laughs> All right, Tony, if you could just, if you could face us and just oh, give us your best beckoning. I what if we did the app? They that got to, because no they'll break your fucking heart. Ain't man. no more. You'll be finished yeah. with, with, like, you come in and do your part, and then people like, so you here tomorrow? You're like, nigga, is it tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we yeah, should go wait in November. Oh. oh. All right. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> you know, I got you for one episode? Oh. Oh, oh okay. I thought you would have been here longer yeah, than that. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, Damn, he, he, had had dude, he did 10 and you was waiting. Dude, oh, oh, was all right. <laughs> I thought you was a regular. <laughs> all right. Dude. They play. Oh, wait, wait, what? Oh, so you're not, you're not in the trailer? Oh, oh man. You under oh, the you under man. The man. No, I don't mean no disrespect, bro, but you, I got to get that script from over there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they are about the Listen, script? you a guest star, they ain't give you your page for the day. You get no real sides. You get one page. That's it. That little, that little tiny page, too. Man. Yeah. The little yeah, small joint. Eight and a half by 11? Nah. You uh -huh. four and a half by six. Man. Man. Put you in that honeycomb. You be out in there. We'll come get you. When they walk you back to the trailer and the little PA mm -hmm. lady be outside. Yeah. So are we going, are we going with him tomorrow, too? <laughs> okay. Exit the paperwork? Okay. Gotcha. Well, she just look. All right. <laughs> no, you can get dressed. Yeah. Put, everything, put everything back in that plastic the bag and just hang it up. We'll come it's get unnatural, it. It's unnatural. What's the call man? time for tomorrow? There's no call ain't time. No call time. <laughs> man, ain't no set. Tomorrow. Don't come up here. <laughs> We're moving location. We bro, they act like they don't know if you try oh, to go man. back on the set. They'll even drive you back to the car. Yeah. You out in the you dusty desert. Hey, you move out there. <laughs> what happened to the spot of y'all big PM? Yeah, that, they had to go back at 2 You see the little scooter right there? Hop on that. It'll work out. Here in the desert, just swipe. Hey, can I get that pass back too? <laughs> <laughs> they treat you and get great. That, get that lay back. Oh man, yeah. rap. when you rap, it's like you're laughing on a cruise. Yeah. Yeah. Get you. We got new people coming up. They don't know me excited when they leave. Hey, can you up? Uh, yeah, because we gotta flip this. <laughs> we need this trailer. We need this trailer. Bruh. No, no, you just keep the clothes. Uh, <laughs> can you hang the shirt back up? Yeah. <laughs> Because we're going to need the shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Put the shoes in the left plastic bag. Yeah. Oh, snap. Appreciate it. Ooh. Appreciate it. Lord Jesus. They fucked you up, man. Is that your, is that your sausage you brought to your pocket? Oh, here man. we go. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you forced it. Hey, you want to grab something to go? We're going to walk by if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> you can find your way to there. Yeah, yeah, they had two sausages. Come on, man. I was late. That story was funny, man. I was, you, you ain't never made a mistake. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, several times. That was that was one of those defining moments, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never been oh, oh my god. Oh.
Tony, it's on you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tony Baker. On, no, Tony uh, the Baker. <laughs> oh, Tony the Baker. Right? To, the, to the uncles out there. It's to Tony all the, the Baker. Uncles. Tony Baker on everything. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You check out my YouTube, Tony Baker Comedy. Got some content on there. Got Daddy Issues podcast. Got Verbal Cardio. Uh, when this drop? On the when this drop? On one of them Fridays. It's gonna be a while, so no, it ain't. It ain't gonna be that long. This okay. shit coming out immediately. Well, check out my Verbal Cardio episode. I got a guest on there for the first time. I got D Smoke on, so check that interview out. Shout out to D Smoke. Yeah, my first guest. Yeah, man, y'all, yeah. y'all some of the most requested guests that we hadn't had. So. Oh, word? Yeah. Oh, shit. Appreciate y'all. Well, I'm, glad y- I'm glad y'all got to came, come together. I love what y'all doing, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, DC, and Chico, man. Yeah. I be, mean, I'm like, I'm going to the show Bruh, next time y'all yeah. pull up. I meant to say that at the beginning, but we was yeah, got we, to we laughing went right into it. Happened. Let me tell you something, bro. When I see y'all, y'all we're having five, six, seven thousand people. Just <clears throat> we just gonna freestyle. Oh for my god! Dude, y'all man, put that up. Yeah. And then next we gonna do, and then put that up. Man, I said, man we can this do is, anything. This it's is an cheap. event. Bro, that's like watching a trailblazer do something. Then you'd be like, bro, now, now I got to do the same, but it's just like what they do, but it's us. Yeah. Bro, five, six, seven thousand people owning yeah. it? And it's crazy, because it's like, you can't tell you, we would go on these fucking shows, and we'll do like, we'll book a venue, and we'll do two shows. Nigga, half the crowd will come to the next show. Oh. They, they know they know it's yes. completely different. Exactly. Y'all niggas just sit up there talking. Niggas yeah. just like, man, hey, I'm going to take the boat shit ever. Like, For oh. Off the rip? Off the rip. Like, you know how they'll flip the shirt and like, okay, we got to get the, the people like, I got tickets. Meet and greet and everything. That's just happy amazing, to do bro. <laughs> the same meet and greet. Yeah. Man, that first show was good. This second one? Nigga, man. y'all should have said that shit, nigga. <laughs> the shit you said the first time. Why y'all ain't do the song, bitch? Because we made it up. <laughs> we gotta watch it and then remember it. And, and like, y'all really be just. Y'all bro. just be up there talking about it. Y'all ain't thought about none of this shit. Man. Y'all know you gotta get, though. Tony the Baker. Tony. Not, not Tony. Tony. <laughs> he can remember that shit. <laughs> <laughs> man, what y'all are doing is incredible. Oh, I'm a fan. Hey, man, it's such a free fall, and it's so much fun because mm. the people just allow us the space yeah. to try it. Yeah, and yeah. that's the one thing that's that's been missing out of our element of entertainment as comedians. Like, we got to be prepared when we get there. They yeah. don't we don't have a lot of spaces where we can try shit. Yeah, right. especially in front of that many people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Y'all have thousands. Of they be in there. They look like the place to be, man. Oh, man. The energy. Like, they gonna talk about 85 South like the Cotton Club. Now, yeah. I saw them there. Okay. I saw we them was there. She was in Tallahassee. <laughs> in Tallahassee. Tallahassee? Oh, back in that day, you had to get two tickets. You couldn't get it. We were never. Oh, oh, no, we never. Oh, then you missed the second show. You missed a whole new set of jokes. I got two. I got two of the laptops over. Buy the ticket and stay. I'm not right. Okay. I followed them to Charlotte after Tallahassee. The whole B ship. The whole B ship at Walmart. We all sat together. We had everything, man. We had our vests on. We had our vests on. We had our talk about the pocket sauce. We had talk about the nigga season some motherfucking sauce. I'm talking about the nigga. I was stuck in my pocket. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how the sausages just didn't fall out. We didn't hit the roof, man. Them sausages would have fell out of my head. But they was made for the pockets. So oh. He used to cut it with a little slit, so now it's made for the pockets. Oh my God. The pockets are the niggas on the go. That's going to be the one. Yeah. Out of all the shit that we said, somebody gonna be somebody in the comments gonna be like, if y'all see yeah, yeah, it, it's gonna be. A, I guarantee somebody gonna send them a shirt. I work a graphic the for it. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Somebody working hard right now, like we got the blacks. Let me tell you, it's gonna be somebody you never expect. Like, hey man, Nigga, Oscar listen. Maya. All just you missing, posted that clip. All you missing oh, is, is a, a pocket sausage holder, right? You just slide it in the holder. They and you got them on it Amazon the for five dollars. <laughs> pocket sausage case. Watch. That's all he needed. That's, That's all his little need. six-year-old hands Sausage needed, on man. the go? We live. Oh, you so in the meeting, you get lit. You get tired. For this shit. <laughs> it's it's an internet group. They 5,000 members deep. <laughs> Oh my it's god. It's gonna be on Reddit. You're gonna get on Reddit, nigga. It's, it's, it's gonna stop. It's supposed to get on Reddit. It's gonna be on Reddit. You ever been starving in a meeting and hungry? <laughs> Check your pants? Nothing? No problem. The sausage will never let you do <laughs> Oh, God. Now you got hot meat in your pocket. Hot, hot meat? Because it was fresh. That just came out. <laughs> I feel like for some reason this shit gonna be big in India. <laughs> I don't know why. I just feel like they. That's ought street to- meat. Oh, oh man. man. Halal pocket sausage. Hilarious. <laughs> 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 
fucking sausage. Oh, I can't take it. White lady on fucking TikTok cooking. You had poppy sausage? This is how I like to do it. All the wave. What if everything I did in the world didn't matter, but pocket, pocket sausage? Pocket sausage. sausage. And when you did pocket sausage, that's when it, that's that's when it turned up. Oh, out. man. I hadn't heard of you since pocket sausage. I didn't recognize you until I had this sausage in my hand. Then I was like, <laughs> you man. Oh, snap. Oh, oh, come on, man. Pocket sausage. It really is pocket sausage out here. I would be so scared That's what Cam needed. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> what? I wouldn't want that shit in my search history. <laughs> Ass that's gonna be popping. Oh. Nah. As soon as he clicked on, I was like, oh shit, we got another one. <laughs> Bruh. That was the one hit they need. Pocket we better laugh. Oh. I, told y'all y'all oh, I told y'all don't give up on this oh. idea. Oh, Somebody bro. gonna be putting the meat in the man. Y'all, y'all some wild niggas. All right. We gotta get the fuck out of here. All right, yeah, man. Thank you for having us, bro. Appreciate oh, yeah, for sure. Hey, man, y'all welcome anytime to stop through the trap. Anytime. More than welcome. I'm gonna pull up again. You should. I'm moving out of here, so. <laughs> yeah. You gotta do the stuff. I could do it remotely, man. He was doing it twice a week. Yeah, Atlanta to LA. Yeah. It's doable. You ain't gonna do it though. I'm Tom. back. Shut up, Tom. He don't know what I'm gonna do. He could do it twice. He ain't gonna do it though. Then he's gonna be like, you know what? Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, I'm helping if the plane crash. Mm-hmm. 1-800, no, we ain't helping. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some of my favorite videos. Oh, don't that the and the fucking drug kingpin. Oh, oh, man. All right, man, get off me, man. All right, y'all, thanks for tuning in to another episode <laughs> hey, man. of 85. Remember, <laughs> if everything's working, you should be, too. I'm Carlos Miller. This is the 85 South Show. My niggas, we in the trap. I'll see you later on. Make sure you get them little bumps off the back of your neck for the summer. <laughs> Change your pillowcase. Oh, man. <laughs> Much love. Bruh. Okay, Appreciate you, Lord. Oh. Let's get a plate. Let's get a plate, Bro. guys. Guys, sit back down. All right, Fuck. Go. We, we all vary in heights, so it's going to look stupid <laughs> if we all stand up. Do the Jesus hands. We're going to keep the whole week. Everybody look off.